Siri, Stannis, Baratheon are so different. Like, I would stab Siri, Stannis, if I saw him. Book Stannis, I would actually, like, I would actually uh, pledge my loyalty to, because he's actually awesome. Is that the intro? <laughs> That's, That's the intro. The intro. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Hold, please. I think. I just. I think I just heard you. Yeah. God, that delay is insane. Oh yeah, you're not you're not her. The rest of the rest of us are, and I'm just now getting to to me saying hold please. I could definitely hear you. <laughs> no, we're gonna have to wait thirty seconds because this delay is insane. No, you're responding to <laughs> <laughs> Mark, oh, don't respond to the echo. <laughs> <laughs> don't respond to the echoes. That's how the pay gets you. That's how you get caught in some very weird time loops. <laughs> oh God, this. Uh, of course, we're gonna have to wait half an hour to. <laughs> oh gonna... yeah, I think we're you're gonna... you're heard now. Which Markham do I listen I to? Can't tell if it's yes. or not. No. I can't. Good gosh. Which Markham do I listen to? Yes. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Okay. Oh, ah. My it's skipping. <laughs> it's dropping frames tonight. Okay, so that's Where? wonderful. Apparently, the heat wave is kind of. You can't work in a heat wave and you can't work in storms. We got to leave Florida, bro. Right? <laughs> I don't know, but apparently, you know, service is down or something and it's too hot for them to th like repairmen aren't showing up right now because it's too hot. How at does Wyoming 30 at have... night? Yeah. How does what? It's still how like does... 90 degrees out there. How does Wyoming have better services than Florida? It's, it's, it's 86 weird. degrees out. Yep. Yeah, Wyoming is okay, but Wyoming is like the <laughs> only convert. Midwest state that is. Like everyone else I know out there is like, yep, we can't what? do anything. It's hold 110. On, hold, on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wyoming is not Midwest. No, it's West. It's, it's full very on West. Much West. Okay, fair. So I guess you have to go West. all the way to the West to get good service in America. He's not a geographist either. <laughs> I am, no but only uh. if I've made the world, for Pete's sake. And last I checked, I did not. I'm not the god of this world. That would. You're not a really geographist. <laughs> not for uh, uh, this world, no. I didn't build it, so I don't care. Uh, okay. Evil okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna start talking different languages again don't you dare you know i just start <laughs> guessing what most sounds like most phonetically and uh, that it's won't like, end well it's like giving my best friend pokemon and she just gives me like i'll show her like a picture of a whooper who is my favorite little band and she'll just be like that's a weird slug and i'm like that slug insulted man. slug man cute like, slug I'm man slightly Hello, insulted sluggy. <laughs> Let, but the, but the next sluggins. whooper I get, did the next whooper I get, uh, did I nickname Slug? Yes. Aww. Okay, that's <laughs> cute. All right, I know, so, me and my best friend are super gay. Fair enough. So, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, apologies for the, the slightly later than usual start. Had some technical difficulties. And I just got a new phone, so I, I set all my alarms differently. And I was like, okay, so it's like, okay, so yeah, yeah. Um, I looked at the old schedule, which was originally 8.30. I'm still certain it's, it used to be 8.30, Naz. Um, <laughs> and I was like, okay, so 8.30, so that's 9.30 Eastern. So I got time, and I was like, nope, don't have time. And my computer's giving me trouble anyhow. 
So let's see if we can make it through without it dropping the stream. Hopefully. Um, anyhow, thank you for joining us for our 22nd session. 22nd? That's not right. Yeah, that is right. 22nd session. Wow. <laughs> Seeing the light. Um, uh, without further ado, uh, I'll go ahead and give a recap. Um, when we last left off, oh gosh, no, let's not do that. I'm not do. I can't do a recap backwards. Um, not today. When we before we last, leading up to when we last left, dang it, I'm doing great tonight, guys. Um, it's okay. <laughs> you got this. I believe in you. They can you. do this. Words don't work. They <laughs> don't make dice. sense either. In any language, language you're is already just doing nonsense. backflips in your head. <laughs> just, I can tell. <laughs> you gotta run before you flip, my guy. <laughs> the, <laughs> I'm doing backflips and so screens to try and find where I need to land, and I hope I land on my feet and not my head. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's, let's start with um. The party was shipwrecked. <laughs> We're gonna start from the Okay. Wow. <laughs> Very <laughs> beginning. Okay. The party was shipwrecked on a long lost continent that um turns out to have been overrun by demons and and, and devils and other types of fiends. Um over a period of months they worked their way down to a place called Sanctuary, the one corner of the continent that had not been corrupted by the wave of destruction that hit this continent thousands of years ago um most of the party did however um one of the party uh, named callie was kidnapped by abigail another member of the party who decided to work with a group of a pair of necromancers um up to the north of the uh, of the of the large island um abigail did some shenanigans planted some occultic material on the party cleric Marcus. So when they reached Sanctuary, Marcus could not get through TSA. Um, <laughs> Sir Wellington also could not get through as he was told there was something evil about him. And thusly, Which... they were both sent away, unfortunately. Which Marcus did not take too kindly to. No, Only I no. can insult my child. Only so, I can insult my child. Essentially. Uh, so Marcus set out on a quest what? of vengeance to uh, politely smite Abigail's face inward. Um, he was... <laughs> There's going to be a... F that was cute to think there would be a face. <laughs> uh, he was unable to find her in time. Uh, he managed to find his new goddess, so he reached out to um, a his traditional goddess of nature she was not responsive um at all at all so what happens however, your god doesn't answer did, you he, find a new one yeah he did find a new one uh she communicated with him to open a portal in her old temple which he did she came through assisted him and sir wellington in a battle against a number of demons um abigail actually summoned those demons that they had to fight through a ritual she was assisting in. Uh, she tried to back, uh, she tried to betray her mentor by offering his soul to the demon they were working with. Turns out he Jose had already been planning to betray her as she was part of the sacrifice. Abigail uh, wound up getting turned to obsidian along with the other uh, prisoners they had she had personally set aside for the ritual and their souls were sucked out of their bodies and into the abyss um great Callie managed to chew her way out of her glass prison because she eats glass because she gets glass <laughs> yep found a recently undead um former corpse that was in the room um befriended her and i hate that we call them former corpses <laughs> you be nice to her <laughs> that's like that's like calling adults former babies <laughs> <laughs> okay fair enough fair enough 
Um, so the Reborn and Callie start working their way out. The goddess blip dropped Marcus um, onto them. Not directly. Callie is very gay for Dahlia. Da- very much so. <laughs> you got sister um, song too. I'm sure but your Deidre dad. won't mind at all. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Listen, haven't seen her in a, few, in a, in a while. And to a 14 year old, a like a month is like that's true. It's and forever. It's been like three months or six it's been, months. Yeah, or that's something. like pra- it's been an absurd that's amount practically of time for forever. Yeah. And what did they do? They kissed I once. Mean, that's crazy. Yep. <laughs> I, yeah. And now this I new mean, hottie shows up. Bet. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And and we fully established. Can't, sh- can't say shit about the age gap. She's just like a few hours old. I'm 14. <laughs> Doesn't matter that she was like 37 in her past life. Doesn't matter. She's a few hours old. She doesn't really it. remember it. I have no doesn't clue count. how old that was. And <laughs> true. Yeah. You could Callie. have been a 475 year old elf for all you know. True. By multiple pieces, I could have been 12 <laughs> and 100. <laughs> That's creepy to think about, but fair. That is very creepy. <laughs> also, what twelve-year-old would have to say? I don't want to think about that. Like, like, well, have, maybe it's like, just a bit of skin. Yeah, you know, just, a bit uh, of just skin. like a skin. Fair breath. enough. Fair enough. I'm like, do you want like one like adult arm and one like twelve-year-old <laughs> arm? arm? That would suck. <laughs> a little baby arm. Gosh. It's okay. You'll grow into it. Bad. Okay, you'll grow into. It. <laughs> They're dead. They're not gonna grow anymore. <laughs> She's done. She's done growing. Take the cells There's are no dead, more. Markham. I'm the cells built. are dead. There's no more growing. So, um, yeah, we left off with them trying to escape and uh, running into. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they ran into the other necromancer. First one got pulled into the abyss with Abigail. Um, although when they found her, she was petrified, so they shrunk her down, stuck her in a jar to keep her tiny. Um, Much to, and, against Markham's wi- Marcus's wishes, right? And um, brought her along because the new girl Dahlia was like, "Oh look, it's my mom! It's mom!" And we're like, <laughs> "You made me." <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky she no, didn't ask to bring Abigail, too. Actually, I don't think she saw Abigail. So you're lucky she didn't nope. see Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> I should that have would had... be an absolutely not. No. I should have had Marcus tip over her statue at the last session. We're oh, still there. Yeah, but you can't break them. No, you can't but... can't break them. Still. We've learned this with Perot, is that they can't be broken. Oh, true. I thought you meant like morally. I'm like, yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, morally, you can break them. Morally and emotionally, hell yes. We've already seen this. Yeah, we've seen this with any type of that. But yeah, like just just ask Milo how just ask Milo how tw- twenty thousand years that a freaking marble statue was. No, uh, I thought I thought you meant like fine. it would be against moral to. To break them, I'm like, no, it's. Oh out. no! I mean, oh. I was definitely, I was definitely referencing Perot's bitch fit in the in the store. Yeah, he knocked them all over, but they didn't break. Uh. This is satisfying. <laughs> oh, this kind of sucks. <laughs> this isn't. This isn't nearly as satisfying as I thought it was going to be. Yep. Just pool donk. Uh. Donk. I'm like, you can't even break a finger. Nothing. It's indestructible. Damn. Indestructible. You disturb. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Um, so we left off with you guys hearing a rush of um, most likely undead siblings of Dahlia um, coming <laughs> around the corner. Oh, um, oh guys... no! <laughs> <sighs> Don't say that. Hold up! Uh... Yeah, so what do you guys want to do? You guys can hear battle going on. You guys have come back down the stairs. Um, Sounds like there's a battle going on in the courtyard. Most likely between all the other escaping prisoners and the armies of undead. They're quite bountiful in a uh, obliterated why is it always the undead? Why? Yeah. Why is that just like the enemy of the day is just undead? 
Yeah, right? You awesome. go through seasons. Season one was Medusa. Season two <laughs> is Undead. Season three will be, I don't know, Archlich and, and Dragons. Maybe. Well, to Granted, be fair, season one was Vladimir. <laughs> yeah, season one was Vladimir. No, yeah, season, season one was Vladimir. Was Vladimir. What was season one? What was Told season to the one? Oh, oh, that Sarah was Fair. very far. That was that was before you, Selkie. <laughs> that was before me. That doesn't yeah. count. I, I feel like that's like the show, <laughs> like the prequel show. That's like explains it was. The it was Critical Role's pre-stream show, is what it was. <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, and that was season, the home game. <laughs> yeah, the five season... years of home game, and then you're like, all right, here we are, season one, five years into the story. Season one, in the middle of a freaking battle where everyone gets petrified. Basically. That was basically session one of season one. (laughs) Yeah. So yeah, season one is that. Season two is becoming undead. Uh, Yeah, more or less. Mainly Faye, though, to be fair. That's true. It depends on what story you're going with. We have quite a few uh, different characters (laughs) with their parallel stories. Yuri, that is how you pronounce Perot. It is pronounced Perot, not Piero. (laughs) Piero. It's Perot. (laughs) Piero. You're pronouncing Piero. it like, um, well, not exact, but you're calling it more like Piero. 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 But that was still not quite the same as Piero. Piero. <laughs> Although, Piero. to be fair, I think Bilo's going to die either way. No, don't shut your whore mouth. No. Act- okay, not for any big baddie. The reason why he's going to die is because uh, Gertrude. Shut your mouth. Oh, yeah. Gertrude will fucking kill him. <laughs> Gertrude will kill him. Barbarian ex wife? Yeah, that's actually. Mm-hmm. That, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That would be funny. Barbarian ex wife that you didn't even go look to see if she was dead, and then you just immediately just found a hot satyr and moved on. <laughs> to be fair. Like, that just sounds like, but to be fair, there was an invasion going on. Yeah, to be fair, there were things happening. There were a lot of things happening. And kind of needed to escape, to be fair. In Milo's defense. And we all know... Also, also in Milo's defense, it took him like six months to realize that they were feeling so... True. Yeah. Whole six months. As someone who has experienced loss, six months is such a quick time to get over loss. Just kidding. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) And be, it was it was definitely and especially in their first very first meeting being like no give me this fucking ring you weirdo I need to bring them back and it's like no I'm good <laughs> and then I was like oh now the ring is fucking gone there we it's go it's gone yeah. we don't know where it went <laughs> any whore I do <laughs> lost continent <laughs> well, did yeah. you just forgot that you knew. I mean, I knew Calypso had it, but... Yeah, like... and then Cal- Calypso dropped it? <laughs> no one ever insight-checked her on that. No, I... S- okay, I probably did. No. <laughs> I wasn't even there. I, couldn't, I can't did. say it shit. Was, Perot I wasn't was there. there. Perot was just busy being mad at someone else. Oh, yeah. Perot <laughs> probably definitely fails because Perot's... No, Perot's really good at knowing whenever somebody yeah, lies to them. that's why I said you didn't even insight-check. You were too focused I mean, on Terrell was too Terrell. busy killing Micah. To be fair, Terrell wouldn't even focus. know about the rain. He's just like, wait, rain? Okay. Terrell's not there. This is the, Terrell doesn't know about the rain. You know, Terrell he, was there when that happened. Yeah, when Perot got mad, but he doesn't know a single thing about like the rain or anything like that. Mm, yeah, he would yeah, he wasn't at the he wouldn't know about Vladimir's wish. You know. Right. He's like Oh shit! There's a ton of statues here. Why the hell are there a ton of statues? Why are there statues here? That's yeah, he crazy. That's so the, weird. Uh, the curse of the wish. This is true. The, what? What did we call that? The great change. The great change. The great yeah. change. Which is oh, like so that. great. It's so. It's such a good topical name for reasons I won't disclose on the stream. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> but yeah, let's get to the actual D and D game. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. so apparently Lost this Continent. is technically like the avant-garde side quest of my campaigns. Yes. Um, I'm running like no. three different ones with them in it. Um, yep. But ironically, at the same this... time, which is very impressive, and it is very well, impressive. Well, actually, no, you're down to what? 
No, you're still at three because fucking Amako is still yeah. separate. Yeah. But once, hopefully, once Terrell and all them find Amako, it's going to be two. It's going to be two. That's true. That's true. It is kind of merging. Uh, they're, mer- do, they're merging together. It's not really different campaigns. It's just the party split like six ways, and I'm following them differently. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Together. I'm like, yeah. all right, let's get through this so we can... <laughs> Come yeah, on, that... back to the main party, pal. Get here. Out... You know, oh, that's... you're just gonna make another character. Okay, and... well, I'll just be reeling in that <laughs> one over here too. Well, are you gonna be playing six characters at once once I get you back in here? Yes, you will, but that's your own fault. To be um... fair, I'll be playing three if wait, uh, uh, eh, or I know four if four. Terrell comes in because it's Milo, Ulrich. Please save Ulrich. I'm trying, uh, buddy. <laughs> Ulrich. Uh, Mark, who is currently in the cave. Wrong. <laughs> and then... Wait, Naz do, we, Naz, do we need to pronounce our character names so you know how, they, how they're pronounced? Well, now I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fun fact, Ulrich is actually named after the vampire in uh, Nosferatu, because that was the name of the vampire, Count Ulrich. Oh! <laughs> and his, and because we had to have last name for the Faye thing, his last name is Tapes. So his name is literally Ulrich Tapes. Or Tepesh. 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 I hyper fixated on Romanian culture. Do I know how to speak Romanian? No. But do I know how to pronounce words? Yes. Um, <laughs> which is why it angers me so much whenever everyone was like super thirsty over... Uh, what was the game? What was the game with giant eight foot lady? Oh, Dimitrescu. Uh, Demi- yeah. Yes, everyone oh, was no. pronouncing it Dimitrescu. No, use our silent in Romanian. It's, it, it's Dimitrescu. Yeah, lady uh, Dimitrescu. Yeah, that's. I how don't pronounce the... her Lady D or Lady Dimescu. You, I know you don't those. pronounce the U. It's just or Lady vampire. Dimitrescu. Or so vampire like... mommy. That was something else too. Yeah. Huh. There's yes, like a Q U E in French. Again. Yes, R- Romanian. Romanian is more similar to French than it no, is to it's the, like it's a the Slavic tale of Lady D. Resident Evil is is bygone past. It's all about Lady D. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, yes. So yeah, uh, you guys might want to. I don't know. Probably roll initiative, or actually, you're not in combat yet, so I'll let you decide what you want to do first. I guess we might as well just Leave. go straight to combat. <laughs> Leave. I mean, oh, I mean, yeah, okay. Marcus is not gonna. Marcus is not gonna leave a bunch of innocents to fight undead hordes, so he's gonna try and help them. Ooh. Thank you. Oh yeah, the people we've let out. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, Marcus will hear the sounds of battle, and he's gonna turn to the other two. He's like, "All right, we need to get out of here, but we also gotta help these people now. All right, since that whole shit with Abigail is done and over with, we gotta go help them now." Uh, Dahlia, dear, you're gonna have to whack a lot more people now. I, or do that biting and clawing thing you did. That was actually very effective. You might want to do that a little bit more. Okay. Alright. Just, just get going. Whack. Yeah, just whack. <laughs> Alright, you will each get a surprise round of attack. Um, as okay. you round the corner, I presume you are stealthed. Um, I'm keeping yep. the stealth you had last time, which was pretty good. Um, you will each get one attack. As you round the corner, there are about 16 undead servants attacking the... Check. Oh, I did the math wrong. Um, about 36 undead um, oh, crap. and 20-something people. Okay. Uh, it, they're not out, out, outnumbered by that much. It's it's pretty close to one versus one v one. Okay. Uh, quick question. Because I need to actually just check. Oh, that is Milo. That is not the thing I want. There it is. Wrong one. Wrong. I did, the same, wrong one. I did the same thing. I had Satine pulled up, and I'm like, oh, that's not. That's you know, not I one. I am terrible, and most of my characters start with the name M. So when I see M, it's like, oh, there he is. It's like, nope, that's not him. Yeah, apparent. Marcus, okay. Milo, Marth. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the outliers are Vladimir, Terrell, and Ulrich. Uh, okay. So got it's... a lot of K's. Yeah. 
Naz keeps uh, choosing characters that have more common names than hers. Right. I mentioned in my in front of my brother in law recently that Naz's character Abigail is like, You mean Abigail's character Naz? I'm like, ha, nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. That is not how it is. Naz plays <laughs> Abigail, Micah, Abel, like the really common names. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Semi like Naz sounds like a fantasy character. Yeah. It's, it does, yeah. Abigail <laughs> is like my neighbor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay, fine. Uh, Especially okay. if you're in the deep south and they're all Bible names: Abigail, Abel. They Micah, are all that. Job, <laughs> I did that on purpose. You know, you might though. as well just throw Jehoshaphat in there while you're at it. But <laughs> there's, <laughs> they're siblings, so that's allowed because they all have to have Jehoshaphat. If you give one of them Bible names, they yeah. all gotta get Bible they had names. A very which, which is definitely insinuating. Mother. Which is She's definitely insinuating. The Bible exists. In <laughs> Ceylon. <laughs> Yeah, and the fucking vampire family is the one reading it. Right? Okay. Uh, that's so, that's Christianity question. done right right there, guys. <laughs> Christian vampires. Honestly, I'd be down for that. Uh, you don't get it very much more goth than that. Right. So, um, are there enough undead to where he can unleash a big spell without hurting anyone? Or are they all on the middle of battle uh does it target them or are you just gonna blast in the middle because they're in the middle of one-on-one -on -one battle okay uh, you could hit maybe four or five skeleton archers over by the doorway oh crap no because i was gonna use dawn for the first time and that's a 30 foot radius so 30 foot will that's... cover the room but it's, yeah and... you'll everyone that's the thing though it'll nuke everyone so uh Let's That's like, that. that would come in handy for, you know, like when you have an undead army marching at the gates and you're like. That's why I was wondering, like, is it an undead army? Not yet in the gates, but no, they're in the middle of battle, so. Uh. Mm. <laughs> no way, the Cullens in Twilight are Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, no. Did, I mean, they did inspire <laughs> Christian Grey, so there's that. Oh god. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> uh okay, so I guess since there's really nothing else to do because I don't want to waste too many spell slots. Technically uh, Judaism is a rel religion in my world. <laughs> oh but... yeah, because you have fucking Jerusalem. Oh Run, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but two words. <laughs> j j yeah, it's pronounced Jerusalem. Um Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem. No, wait, there's no J, so it's actually pronounced Jerusalem, um, which actually is probably closer to correct pronunciation anyhow. And it's run by Elion, yep. which is actually the, the Judaic god of creation, which is yep. – Elion is the god of creation. So, yeah, technically, <laughs> <laughs> I have Norse, Judaism, Egyptian, uh, Greek. I have a few different least, mythologies in mind. At least two Japanese. Yep, yeah. at least two Japanese. Yep. At least two. And K. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> yep. But yeah. Uh, I guess he'll just cast Sacred Flame on one of the creatures, on one of the uh, archers, to take away their range. Uh, that one will have to do a, a dexterity saving throw, though. All right. Let me get my dice. Which and dice then, I, I should use? Get... I got so many. All the dice. And then he will cast Spiritual Weapon at the third Excuse level. Bone dice. To hit another one. So let me roll for that damage. Uh, that he will be a dice. 17. I need Crap, to go find you, Callie's dice. You Hold on. barely make it. Uh, but yeah, the other one gets hit with a 19. Does that hit for spiritual weapon? Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay. And then... Uh, it's going to be... Uh, nine total damage to that. How you want to do this? <laughs> Guy has awesome. eight hit points. Skeletons aren't too beefy. <laughs> oh, Base... we're dealing with Skyrim skeletons and not like yeah. Elden Ring skeletons. Right. Uh, I was about to say, not like Dark Skulls or Elden Ring <laughs> No, this skeletons. is like Skyrim skeletons. They're just bones cobbled together. You okay. hit them, they'll fall apart, basically. So, you yeah, know, uh, Morningstar just appears, just 
wax that skeleton apart. If you think about it, this this continent's been under the under the rule of this archdevil for nigh twenty thousand years, so it's not like these are recent skeletons. Fair enough. Oh, these are and... very brittle, very ancient bones. Last thing he'll do is he'll move a little bit closer to the ones there and just start uh like next round he'll fight with the villagers. So he's moving with the villagers and then next round he'll fight with them. And then hopefully heal some. Because how are they looking right now actually? There are a few that are pretty pretty badly injured. Most of them okay. are okay because they they were simply in tiny jars. They were still well fed and stuff, and a couple of them just spent the last few months doing push ups. So, um, <laughs> all right, cool, yeah. So, so yeah, that's... they're they're looking for the most part pretty good. There are a couple of kids that are getting their butts handed to them by the skeletons pretty much because when you're a four foot eight kid and you don't have a weapon, and the six foot skeleton with a weapon, yeah, it only has eight hit points, but you only have ten hit points. There. <laughs> So yeah, he'll just uh uh yeah, sacred flame which he the skeleton made so it doesn't get hit. Uh killed the one and then now we'll move closer to the villagers to help them. So now that is the end of my surprise turn. All right. Uh Callie, we'll let you go next. I'm hitting it with my stick. Yo, wow, it's been so long since we've had a non-spellcaster on the team. <laughs> Forgot what it's like. <laughs> we're, just gonna, wow. we're, just gonna, we're just gonna hit it with my stick. That's it. Hit it with my stick. Oh my gosh. Someone made a song. Stick. Someone made a uh, remix of All About That Bass, but as Yoda singing Hit It With My Stick. <laughs> And show the clips fuck? of all the times Yoda would take his walking stick and bap someone with it. Oh, that's so <laughs> cute. Anyways, that's a dirty 20 to hit. I'll need to look that up for Naz's sake. It's going to be mainly R2. I can already feel it. <laughs> feel it in my soul. <laughs> Alright, that's I a can... what to hit? Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Uh, that yeah. very much hits this Poor, poor little skeletons, AC. The dirtiest of 20s. That's, uh, 11. Nope. Check, okay. 15. 15 points damage. Of whacking damage. How much was that? 15. Yeah. <laughs> How you want to do this? Just smack it. <laughs> Actually, actually, can I just smack his head off and then watch the rest of it crumble? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Do it. Swing, swing that about a swing. All right. Uh, that one is down. It crumbles to the ground. You have more attacks, don't you? Um. Yeah, I can hit it again. Well, I've got points in Barbaria it, that give it's, me... It's, it's... In multiple pieces on the ground, I don't think you you want to hit it again. It's something yes. else. <laughs> I can hit something... Yeah, I can hit something else. Okay, That's fair point. That's what I mean. That is... 24. 24 to hit. 24? Yep. Yeah, that hits. Cool. Ooh, that's wait a minute. You're not the right place. It's okay. It didn't matter. I was rolling D10 for the Miss Kralis. Where's my D8? There you are. That is six. What the? Oh no. Where are you off to? Just Nine party in the garden. points of damage. Oh, nice. How All right. That one's marked off too. Cool. Uh, I'll spend a key point to do uh, flurry of bows. Good 
gosh. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right. This is why I love Bunk so much. <laughs> so I'll get an additional two, two hits. Coraline and and Histon are not gonna be happy when they they come home and they're. Histon's not coming home. Are, are going. I just wipe. Histon's out. not coming. He's home. not coming home. <laughs> Histon is literally in hell. Fuck him. He's in hell. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming home. And Coraline is gonna have a change of heart as a new mother. Uh, or Marcus is gonna bash her head in one of the two. One of the two. Why would you do that? <laughs> She's an evil bitch. She's not. She's just a little. Evil bitches get stitches. <laughs> evil bitches get stitches. Another dirty 20 to hit. That is 14 points of damage. 14? Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> are you attacking uh, the zombie or the skeleton? Let's go for a zombie because they're a little sturdier. All right. I, I, Trust in my undead girlfriend to take care of the fragile ones. She just woke up. We'll, we'll give her undead some time. Undead sister, remember? <laughs> all right. Um, least face you the, hit it. Least face for Ali. <laughs> and it like the the head just kind of like backwards and almost off, and then just kind of brings it back up. Um, I got another hit, so I'm gonna hit it again. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love monks. Monks are fun. <laughs> Why do people say monks suck? Monks are awesome. Monks I don't know. suck if you're fighting against them. Probably for inner party okay. conflict <laughs> references. Fair. Uh, that is 23 to hit. Oof. Yeah, that hits. Cool. Can you do less than one point of damage on this next strike? No. Okay, you kill it. Great. <laughs> How do you want to do it? <laughs> Great. I'm... We're gonna do a combination move. I'm gonna stab my my bow staff through it, rip it to the side, and kind of like flop it over, and then kick the rest of it off and just tear it in half. Rip it in okay. twain. Rip him in twain. All right. Spines don't exist. I mean, that person's spine don't. It don't exist. It has no spine. No it spine. It to the ground. Wunderbar. That's my surprise round. All right. Um, Dahlia, these two start running in and start tearing your siblings to pieces. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> none of them none of them have been made with the tender loving care of piecing together multiple of them Coraline they... does everything with tender love and care excuse you okay very much the... she is the most loving and gentle saint you'll ever meet so I is the other like mother Abigail I feel like you're a liar I yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> certain you're a liar yeah, are the most sweet and precious mothers you yes. will ever meet and she's Caring, in my pocket. Loves children. <laughs> mom in a pocket. <laughs> pocket mom. Yes. Pocket mom. Father Sosia, are you the last <laughs> they, they don't look like my siblings, right? They oh, look no. mean. <laughs> right? Yeah, plus, like, zombies would look all decayed and everything like that with, like, pieces of skin missing. Dahlia looks like, I mean, a dead person, but like recently dead, as in like there's no sort of sign of decay or anything like that. So, yeah, probably be like, oh, these be be like, no issue harming them, probably, unless they like really look like her. Yeah, I don't mm. think they're my siblings. I don't think. I so. don't know. I think... uh, let's roll a uh, roll a wisdom check for me. Oh, That's... okay, perfect. My best stat, 16. 
It's not bad. I didn't roll too good, but you're able to piece together that most of them aren't your <laughs> siblings, but um, <laughs> there are two that you know for a fact are your siblings. I are your my puns. siblings? Oh yeah, you can feel it in your I bones. Hate... I, I hate your Do puns, I have Marco. One? You can see it in their bones. There's two of the skeleton archers right there. Oh, oh they... my god! <laughs> they assisted. Coraline in building you. You 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 have this. Oh, it's my dad. That's not my bringing... siblings. Your siblings <laughs> do not assist in your. <laughs> do not assist in the creation. Yeah, so they, it's like you have one of their ribs. It's a... like <laughs> that's I mean, why. Yeah, now, they Emma. they donated parts. They were the older siblings that donated like you know a rib to to help you. Okay. And like the sibling, it's like you have the same blood type. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> They saved my life. Yeah, they saved your life. <laughs> and Marcus just tried no. to torch one of them. There is like, a zombie just... over there that actually did assist in bringing all the parts necessary, collecting them. So I guess he would qualify as your dad. So yeah, you got two moms, a dad, and then two siblings. The rest of them, yeah, with a 16-year-old, be like, I'm not related to them. <laughs> uh, no, they're just the hired they're help. Losers. <laughs> so Kill them no. all. It's, it's like the mom flirting with the pool boy, kind of. Yeah, it's okay. That's Histon. <laughs> Histon's the pool boy? boy? Yeah. <laughs> He's basically He's just the gone. pool boy. That was the dad that's like new. I don't call him dad yet. <laughs> oh, the stepdad? <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, his Marcus like is the weird stepdad, stepdad right, right now. Yeah. No, Mark. His... Well, Marcus is adopted dad. Ian, Ian says, "Naz, they're from Alabama." Gross. <laughs> Gross. I just said. Oh no. Okay. Can <clears throat> can I first run like in so a number of them can see me and like. Say hi very excitedly. See if they come to me. No. No. Oh. Yeah. Um, roll she's charisma baby. check. Uh, yeah. Roll uh, charisma no, check. No, she's too cute for her own no, no, good. No, 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 no. I know what I'm doing. Roll oh, play it no. out. Roll play it out. How does she <laughs> do this? What does she do? What does she do? <laughs> she just, like, she looks, she looks at her siblings, and she, like, she's not really coordinated yet so she tries to wink and she just blinks and then she runs <laughs> she runs and she's just like hi oh, guys you should come here and she just waits yep, and that's a right, whole right. four for charisma okay well i'll let you re-roll that as persuasion okay because you you, you requested they come over that is okay. that is a persuasion check not just a charisma check okay cool so roll better it's slightly better, but it's not good. It's a six. Oh, <laughs> a six. Oh, 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 that's all the difference. Um, <laughs> the siblings just like stare at you, like. Eh? Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't talking to the siblings. I was talking to the other ones. Right, but you you got their okay. attention. Okay. Fair. Um, you get you get a few that like tur turn and shamble over to you. How many is a few? About four. Can they fit in a... What is this? They don't look friendly, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can they fit in a five-foot radius with me? No. You can fit in a five-foot radius. That is it. <laughs> this is one target. <laughs> I mean, depending on the spell, if they surround you, you can hit them. Yeah, that five-foot radius is so small. Five-foot radius, radius No, that's you. ten... Yeah, that's no. 10 feet. 10, ten feet, feet diameter. Okay. 10 foot diameter. diameter. Yeah, you can hit a couple diameter. of them with that. Yeah. A couple? And it's 40 feet high. You could probably hit three out of the four. So if there's oh, anyone above them. 40 feet high. Okay, well, the one that's flying on a broom. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Mark him. A skeleton found Abigail's broom and is like, Wee! <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's canon now. Yes, you yeah, look up. Yeah, there's that has one. to be like, canon. Wee! What the fuck? <laughs> Both the parents My are moms. out. The weird cut girl that was working for them is also the weird babysitter's gone. All of the kids they have to look after are gone. So literally, no one's home. He was just sweeping. Saw the jailbreak. Is like, okay, he's found the broom. He's like, ooh, flying around on the broom. <laughs> okay, well they need to make these a skeletons. Con quite frankly, are just essentially battle droids. 
Yes, I love it. Yes. Battle droids. <laughs> Specifically Everyone... Clone Wars era. Yes. Or Clone Wars TV <laughs> show, I should say. Yeah. Just put their head on backwards. <laughs> One of their heads is on backwards after a villager punched them. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Everyone in the five foot radius is gonna make a con save. But not Are they me. gonna make it? No, they're no, gonna fail a con save. They're not. They're gonna fail. Well, how do you know? <laughs> uh, is You're it just assuming. 10? No. Yeah. <laughs> All of them? I rolled as a group. Okay. You realize how so much they... I'd be rolling if I rolled yeah, for fair, every fair, individual fair. baddie in groups? That is true. Oh, that sucks. Especially okay. when I put you guys up against larger groups or, heaven forbid, run a battle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I gotta run for these ten thousand troops, and I gotta roll for these <laughs> five thousand troops. Just give me a year, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> That's nine damage for all of them. Naz is a complete expert. Nine damage. Oh, okay. Um, only, uh, only. So, what type of damage is this? Radiant damage. All right, let me check a thing real quick. Wait, In the meantime, give a plug for our new uh, workshop. No, I'm kidding. We what? have the t-shirts Radiant. coming out. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I'm just. I don't know. What are you talking role. about? That, oh, you're that. trying to do like you're trying to do like a merch plug for a merch we don't yeah. have. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I wish we had oh. merch. Wait, do you want us to roll initiative? Because I oh should we should yeah should roll, we roll initiative, initiative now. now? Yes, yes. Woo! Awesome. Ooh, that is a ooh. that is a net that is a nineteen for initiative, so twenty one. Got twenty four. <laughs> Got okay, so never mind. Okay, so uh with that in a burst of light, the three skeletons just turn to ash. The undead is a bit wounded but is still shambling towards you. Okay. He looks kind of charred. One arm is slowly turning to ash and hanging limp at its side. Okay. That's my turn. All right, everyone, roll initiative. We did. We did. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Mm-hmm. Twenty-one also. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Also. Twenty-four. Uh, Fucking who has, four. Who has the higher decks? I got a plus two. Show us your- Plus three. Okay, yeah, you go first. Okay, Callie, Dahlia, Marcus. So, yep. Callie, New you deck. go first. Thick, I'm going to... You saw your use... new crush just badassedly wipe out three in one. It was really hot. I'll be totally <laughs> honest. It was a little hot. Um, I am going to use a bonus action to turn my bow staff into an axe. By blowing glass through it. Right. Yes. Because I have glass in my mouth. Yep. Now yes. that's hot. Now Stay. that's hot. <laughs> no pun intended, I'm sure. All of the puns intended. Uh, um, it's a good thing we don't take psychic damage from that. Uh, I'm going to eventually impose yep. Dungeons and Daddy's rules, and for every dad joke, there's psychic damage taken for everyone who can hear it. <laughs> Yes. Yes. You know, me me and Amanda are finally back on that show, and it's glorious. Fantastic. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Everything is fine. Episodes. I'm a couple behind. We're a lot behind, but oh well. A 27 to hit. (sighs) Are you going after uh, one of the zombies or one of the skeletons? We're going to go after zombies because I'm a hard hitter. All right. Uh, That does not hit. 27. I'm kidding. It totally I was about to say, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> what? You motherfucker. It's, it's a, a giant <laughs> ogre zombie with hide of steel. No. <laughs> you hear a roar. It's it's an it's an undead demon. She captured and killed a demon and then turned into undead. It's like a high ranking demon too. Cool. It's like a Balrog. Oh, Listen, don't talk to me about oh, high ranking oh, demons. Oh, I might oh, get distracted again. I might get distracted again. Don't even that worry about bad. it. They're too high. Um, that's <laughs> ten, 
10 points of regular damage and 5 points of fi uh, fire. Hmm. Okay. Burn him How do you, yeah, um, it bursts into Burn flames him. and um, collapses so to the ground. Scattered, scattered with that molten glass. Beats and beats and your, takes him exactly to zero. Okay. <laughs> That was really hard for you to say, wasn't it? <laughs> Apparently. My speeching ain't so good these days. See, he's talking ain't so good right now. Mm. Um, yeah, I can hit it again. I can hit it again. Oh, okay. Which is going to be 24... Yeah, that hits. Great. So I take Love it you're choosing it. a new target since this one is smoldering on the ground. Very much so. Okay. You said you're gonna hit it again. I'm like you're just gonna sit there and just start. Bashing I'm going to the hit. Corpse. I'm going to like. I'm going to hit again. Oh, okay. I'm going, like. <laughs> I'm going just... to attack again. I'm not gonna do something else. I'm going to attack again. That is. Just a heads up. If any of you guys ever play Barbarians, Nine. I am going to try something interesting Me? which is if you're raging or reckless attacking i might request you to call your shots beforehand because a barbarian wouldn't necessarily have the wherewithal to mid-rage tell okay i need to hit this many times to bring it down and then choose a new target so you could end up just wailing all your attacks on one that you killed two attacks ago. <laughs> just, oh. just to see what happens. <laughs> just to see what would happen. Okay. Um, so I'll keep that in this... mind for Marth. Yeah, I'm going to keep this in mind for Callie. Yes, please. Because right now, Callie okay. is my only breathing okay. barbarian out of like the four that I have. <laughs> the one Mark I know him. you, do you have is Patrick. <laughs> Are you a four? <laughs> I mean, I know well, one's petrified. Yeah, one of my barbarians is petrified. Yep. Two of them aren't in this are in this world. Ah, that doesn't but mean I they're not breathe. breathing, right? Did they die? <laughs> anyway, oh, um, no. <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. That's eighteen points of damage. <clears throat> That's very sad. I know. It's always my barbarian. 18 points of damage. Do I kill another Zambino? Yes, you do. <laughs> Great. I love that for me. Um, Callie racking up the kills here. Hell yeah. I have, Callie hasn't been in combat in a minute. And Monk is like strictly a combat oriented class. That is true. <laughs> Although later on you do get a lot of good shit for like Once role play and stuff like that. Sure. Like, I don't you have understand those... all the languages. There's a thing which I'm hoping Terrell gets to by the time he meets Perot is immune to poison. Immune to poison. Fox is like, ha! Your poison don't work, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Luke Kane yell, just... <laughs> oh, by that point, Perot is... <laughs> Perot's going through things right now. Yeah. We're not going to talk about what... We know what's happening with Kismet. We're not going to worry about what happened to Pro. Nope. Bro, like, I'll make you feel, I'll make you look how you feel on the inside. Oh, gosh. I won't say anything. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to use my another, my bonus action to once again blow glass into my staff and turn it into another axe. That's all I got. That's my turn. All right. Pop another piece of gum. Blow it. Beautiful. Um, <clears throat> that brings us to Dahlia's turn. Uh, so there's one that's not doing so good in front of me. Right. I'll just hit I it. I rolled. Good news. It was what? not your dad that Kelly killed. 
put. <laughs> Unless I get told that that is her dad, I'm going to kill all of kill them. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! That's I winked at my brothers. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! Okay. What? No, I just realized I have. Okay, no. Just keep do do your turn, Naz. I just realized I have something super fun. <laughs> okay. I did uh, wink at my brothers. Mm, give me a perception <laughs> check, Callie. <I'm> kidding. <laughs> well, you can if you want, but it was it was like at a blink because I don't think she can wink yet. Because she just blinked at a couple of them. It was very. It was like a deliberate. Like she was trying to wink, so I was like. Yeah. And she went. <laughs> <laughs> Disadvantage is an eighteen. At eight, Whoa. Well, you're in ab or you're enamored with everything Dahlia does, and she <laughs> looked over and she animatedly blinked <laughs> at a couple of skeletons for some weird reason. Um, she did shout doing? hi guys to them, so I guess that's something. Um, what? What's <laughs> Dahlia doing? Guys? She ran into the middle of the battlefield, went hi guys. <laughs> 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 she's See, so cute uh, is, she's so cute this is why she she's her yep. so I guess you're at least somewhat aware that the two confused skeletons <laughs> probably have something I, I at least her. can I <laughs> can I make an insight check to be like this is just her finding a fellow dead <laughs> or is this weird? Yeah, because I feel like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what does that you mean? Roll insight, yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's like, what do you? Maybe you she just... just had a brain malfunction. There's still yeah, electricity maybe... going around. Yeah, in maybe there. she's still like twitching a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um. Her an insight would be twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. She seems to be on friendly terms with these undead for some reason. Why? <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> I feel like every like this this is just gonna like preliminary like start something and then Naz can shut me down if they want to. But like all good couples started out calling the other one super weird. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I mean Milo like, was weirded out by Korean. Look at where yes, that he was. <laughs> Yes. I'm pretty sure Kayla before he I even was asked her name, I thought she was a stalker. So <laughs> before he even asked her name, he called her weird lady to her face. She yeah, that's Probably. true. <laughs> and Corinne was like, "Oh, thank um, you. It's okay." Kayla knew my name, and I didn't know that I had met her before. So I thought she was some sort of weird stalker. Oh my god! <laughs> like, how do you know these things about me? Turns out we've I... met and hung out like four times the previous semester. Oh my god, <laughs> Marco! I am so lucky. I just met Amanda on a dating site now because I oh was like, "Oh, that's god. her name." Whatever, I would forget. But anyway, so Marco, I had no... I, I, I love Kayla so much for her patience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be fair, she changed her style entirely from that one semester to another. Like, she had straight hair, darker makeup. I think she wore all black that... So I think she was... I don't know. It was, it was like she wanted to be emo or something. Or maybe it was going... Yeah. She was going you forward. think Wait, Hawaiian are shirts to... are emo. I don't trust your judgment. It was all what? solid black. <laughs> but, oh Mark, are we, are we going to have to have a conversation of what's emo versus what's goth Probably. again? Because, I am like, going to need that. This I is like that one it's... South Park episode with the emos yes, where everyone yes. thinks it's the same. <laughs> Let's, the Eskimos, yeah. something like that. I don't know. Ijoles, <laughs> chico. I don't know. It's one of those terms. It starts with an E. <laughs> All right, let's let's just keep going. Yeah. Any whore. <laughs> I don't know things. My um, girlfriend's being suspicious. Yes, your girlfriend's being suspicious. I don't know what emo means. <laughs> No matter how much Marcus is like, no, she's your sister. Like, they were roommates. Let's be 100%. <laughs> Marcus is a historian right now. Marcus is a historian right now. <laughs> yeah. They were roommates. They were good friends. <laughs> they just lived together. <laughs> they just wrote letters to each other every day. They were really good friends. 
they lived in a one bedroom for eternity. <laughs> like it's that such good friendship, honestly. Good, good friends. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your to history fair, buff, though, you know it's real. Yes, it's true. But to be fair, Marcus wouldn't do that out of any sort of like no, I like know homophobia. No. He would do that because he's a freaking idiot. It's like, oh yeah, no, they're just friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when everyone's like, dude, their bone is like, no, no. <laughs> if it wasn't for Sorsha, I'm pretty sure Marcus would be the most oblivious person in the world. I think he's well, still. He still is. He's still he is. pretty up there. <laughs> she's, if he's not, he's not number one. He's Remember. It's like when I was with of, Kayla. It's like, what? He lost track of Callie for like three months. To be fair, though, he was looking for Callie. He was, kind of. He was like, <laughs> where the hell is she? Oh, Did, yeah. Asking he? where she is whenever she's not around mm. is not looking for her. You know what? Never mind. He was looking for her when you weren't there. That's the parent walking that. past the okay. two-year-old and saying, hey, have you seen your teenage brother? I haven't seen him in a few weeks. <laughs> Keep an eye out for him, will we? Will you? Although, <laughs> Mark, Mark, and we got to remember, though, canonically, it took Marcus six weeks to find out that Sorsha wanted to kiss him. And it took yeah. freaking Kieran to tell him that, like, dude, make out with your girlfriend. <laughs> I don't even think he realized they were dating until like at least three weeks in. No, nah, I'd give it like a day or two. Oh, no, to be fair. Wait, I can't remember. Was he spin butt? He, I mean, he kind of thought he was, she was kind of cute, but I feel like it's more like Sorsha chose him in this <laughs> situation. <laughs> like, I, did, oh, yeah, I didn't adopt did. the I did. didn't He's adopt him. Of... He adopted me. <laughs> It's like this golden retriever. I'm gonna ruin him. I'm gonna. I'm taking this one. This one is mine. Okay. This poor little himbo is mine. Yep. I'm taking him. The the cleric and the paladin. It's actually a really yep. good ma- match. It is, yeah. There's so many good ones. Mm-hmm. She's really work. good at smiting. Um. So. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Marcus is good at smiling. <laughs> Uh, the Smiter and the Smiler. Uh, so, let's see. So, yeah. Uh, Naz, it's now Dahlia's turn. Yes. So, there's the injured one in front of me. Yep. Is there any others in a 10-foot... Uh, there's... Never mind. Never mind. It's a creature. at the edge of the 10-foot. Oh. And it's a creature. Like two others. <laughs> Only one. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh... She's going to extend her hand and going to be poison sprayed and he needs to make a con save again. All right. Uh, That's uh, an eight. (laughs) No. He takes 18 poison damage. All right. It takes no poison damage because undead are immune to poison. (laughs) Mean? <laughs> you play almost exclusively undead. How do you not know you're immune yeah. to poison? <laughs> they're not immune to poison. None of mine are. Oh uh, they're God. technically not undead. Those are like half undead. Wait, actually, she Dahlia is. And... Dahlia is. She's a... <laughs> She's a... <laughs> I didn't know Poor that. thing, don't know. I thought it was from her glass or something. No, okay. your brother and her are also immune to poison. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, she like. Wait, are you also my brother? <laughs> <laughs> roll a wisdom check. Wait, uh, no. Just, <laughs> roll a wisdom check Wait. to see if you can tell this is not a sibling. <laughs> We've just been through this. That's an 18. 18? Okay. Despite the ins- unnaturally, ca- the-, the incredibly uncanny similarities between how you don't, how you're immune to poison and this guy's immune to poison, you're pretty sure you're probably probably not related it's probably a safe bet definitely not related but could be single <laughs> yeah okay and you got things in common you're both immune to poison <laughs> oh yeah that's the one thing i look for that's, that, that's that's the most important thing in undead part. no no we need the cremation couple <sighs> to happen okay and she's pretty cute 
Mark is Mark. I'm just like I'm not hearing you. <laughs> I'm making the cremation couple. The happen. cremation you can't couple. Stop me. <laughs> 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 All right. She needs to be immune to fire, so she can just sit in the flames and be like. <laughs> that's their ship name is cremation. Okay. Oh my god. <clears throat> We gotta okay. come up with names for all the characters. We do. We haven't we? No, we no. got did like the thing where like they combine the names, but not like. That's a ship name. That. Okay, we're yeah, gonna but do it's more fun with name? like yeah. I'm more fun with Tyler, okay. but yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so she just does that, and then she's like. Kalalia would be the ship name. True. Kalalia. Dahlia, <laughs> Kalalia, or Kalia. Or it would just be Dolly. <laughs> oh, Dolly. Oh, Dolly, I could see that. That's her turn. She's just like, oh, how dare you? All right. You were my brother. <laughs> you were my brother, <laughs> Anakin. <laughs> okay, how how many undead are within five feet of me that I can see? <laughs> Probably about three or four. Okay, I need them all. I need them all to make con saving throws. All right. Don't poison well, them. Well, that's not one, so whatever you do, you can double it. Hey. Okay, so... Yeah, that's a total 16 radiant damage for all of them. All yeah. five burst into ash in a flash of light. So yeah, he basically just thrusts his... Uh... One is, like, moving forward, has its axe ready. There's, like, this cowering child with one hit point left below it, and it just comes down, and it just showers the kid in ashes instead. Yeah, so he just basically grabs his amulet, just shouts a The axe just, word. like, goes flying across the room and beds in the far wall from the forward motion. And just does that. And good thing that there's a kid with one HP, because... He is also going to cast Mass Healing Word. Holy on cow. That kid, and then this five, five? Is it five? Hold on. I'm doing it from the... Hold on, let me see really quick if, like, I can heal more people with healing. No, I can't. Okay, so it's just going to be a simple third level because I don't think there's too high of level people here. Oh no, fourth level. I'll do fourth level. So, the kid and then five others that look the worst will get Ooh, 17 heal. 17 Ooh. Uh, hit points. So, so, right after uh, Marcus just sends four five. or Five. Sorry, yeah. Five of the creatures into oblivion. He's going to look at the kid and uh shout in Celestial and then heal that kid and then five others that look worse for wear. Nice. Alright. You can do that. <clears throat> and after Spidey on Dead and doing heals, the best thing for a cleric to do, that's my turn. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um. Oh, that's the end of all y'all's turns. Okay. Um... We're going to start with, uh, so the various civilians get to go next. They take out a bunch of them. Awesome. Whoa. Boop, 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 boop. Not my siblings, I hope. <laughs> uh, let what me roll for that real quick. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, your siblings are safe. Uh, your dad will see. Okay, your dad is still safe. Just Why barely. Wait. Where's... What? I know there's two siblings that are arching on the <laughs> archering. Yeah, the the siblings shooting. are the archers. <laughs> that. Yeah. Um, on the, somewhere and what is my dad? Your dad is wielding a big old axe and is currently in a well, duel. Why is he my dad? Because he was because the he gave one you a that rib. helped. No, 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 no. my siblings. The siblings gave me a rib. were the ones that. Some of that, yeah, yeah, it's like part of them uh, is used. So like they they have shared DNA essentially. Yeah. Um, the 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 zombie was the one that was Coraline's assistant in putting you together. That's not my dad. That's like the doctor that in the, oh, in the okay. He was the in the hospital room. room. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. 
Okay. <laughs> the delivery room doctor is delivery here. Delivery room doctor. Okay. He's come okay. for my checkup. Well, that's good. Well, he took some damage. Oh. Okay. Yep. I can live with that. You can live with that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Um, now it's the undead's turn. They get to attack. Don't suppose an 11 hits you, Callie. Nope. Or a nat <laughs> 1. That one actually nope. trips and, like, face plants into your chest. Um, <laughs> Anime <laughs> moment. <laughs> my pre- <laughs> my prepubescent non-existent titties. <laughs> Chris, how old? 14. <laughs> Wait. Um... How late did you hit puberty? I didn't get boobs until I was like 16, dude. Oh, damn. It depends. Interesting. All the girls I grew up around hit puberty at 11. Right. Flat at 11. Well, okay, okay. Yeah, but puberty doesn't mean... Me boobs. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You can hit puberty. It did where I grew up. (laughs) Yeah, yours yours is very skewed. Okay. Mark, we're going to have a talk later. <laughs> so, um, growing up is weird, people. Don't I couldn't, do it. I need, I need to stop mentioning, like, boobs and shit on stream, because it just leads to weird conversations. <laughs> it does. Everything is your fault. Um, <laughs> so, I'm uh, sorry, I grew up in public school like a normal person. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, Where, life is weird to me. go to Catholic school? No, I went to Bible school once a week for 12 years. So I have the best of both worlds. But then you also go to Catholic school. (laughs) I went went to Bible school once a week, every week for 12 years. And then I went to public school the rest of it. I mean, church had Sunday school for an hour. But it wasn't really school. It was just like reading the manual and pretending to be listening. Kind of. Yeah, what you do is you go to Catholic school and then Sunday school. I feel and like then if I went Bible to Catholic, camp. I feel like if oh, I yeah, went Bible to Catholic camp. school, I yeah, would be Bible even camp. more fucked up. Like okay, I would so, not. Yeah. No, here's, yeah. <laughs> here's what you do. What you do is you go to Sunday school AM, you go to church uh Sunday uh, you you go to church, you go to Sunday afternoon school, you go to Sunday evening service, then you go to Wednesday service, then you go to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning chapel. Um, and then you go to Saturday night Bible group. Dude, we just go to church on Sundays for three hours. That's all we freaking <laughs> yeah. do. Three we hours? Like a youth group well, on the one hour is the meeting. Two is like men and women teaching. And then the third one is like all together. Each one like, of those. So that's one hour for each of the ones I mentioned, except for the Wednesday, and Wednesday service and the Sunday morning and evening services. Those are each two to two. Two, uh, three hours. So that's three, six, nine, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so eighteen hours. Who a has week. the time? Who has the time? Those who are required. This is to why do so. you become goth and just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What, this is why you become goth and pagan, and you can just do the shit on your own time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> pray God, yes. I want to pray God. Um, I'll do it eventually. Don't want to pray um, to God. Pray to multiple gods. I mean, I'm do it so. multiple times. Uh, um, so uh, on that note, I uh, I'm so sorry, Dahlia, but does a 22 hit you? I'm no. pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. So you no. you look at him and it's like, oh, is that my dad or my no, delivery guy? No, this is the one that you tried to poison, and she's immune to poison. And you're like, oh, are we related? No, we're not. <laughs> As she brings her um, her hammer down and just bashes you. Now I gotta roll damage. I'm not looking forward to this. Where's the dice? What? All right. How much damage? How much damage does she do? All the melee sucks in um, <laughs> I mean, fifteen points of damage to Dahlia. See, like, okay, that's fine. But it's like. I don't know when you're a, a lot. when you're a melee class when you have multiple attacks. I guess, can, like, yeah. And plus, freaking like, if you get a godly weapon, I mean, 
godly weapon you barely even it's like Marlo, for example, has a plus seventeen to his bow from fighting style and the bow itself. So even on a two, he will still hit most of things. Yep. Yeah, but then the damage is like one d eight. Yeah. <laughs> well, one d eight plus ten. Yeah. And Which then, and then plus I mean, multiple modifiers. Plus multiple modifiers. Plus he another does attack. Have a good point plus... though, because that will still take you. Like, you know, a year to take down a powerful and being. we can cast yeah, fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's also like an it, it, like compared to an arrow yeah. hitting you. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. pink. Yeah, it hurts. It be this, it be this big. Yes. I create whole this big, but if I'm really a good, sword? I create two of them. <laughs> two and then of there's a sword, though? Big. A great axe? I'm working on re re. Well, no, it's probably balanced. The... It's probably balanced. It's just like it's Kinda. funny because I'm used to playing the spellcasters who it's like hit once. I'm gonna. I'm working on a way to balance die. it better. <laughs> um, I play all the martial classes. Like yep. Vladimir is the only Vladimir and Marcus are the only actual spellcaster. Even then, Marcus is technically half a spellcaster because he's a cleric and he can still do. Whack damage. So, while we're Whack talking damage. about poor damage, does a nat 20 hit Dahlia? Hit me again? Why? Yeah, oh. she gets two attacks. So she goes oh. boom, and then she swings back again. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think it hits. Well. Uh, that's going to be... Forty points of damage as she swings it back. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're like Naz, you spoke too soon. <laughs> you really did. I rolled a nat twenty, and I was one point away from max damage <laughs> on that, oh, that hit, man. which doubles. <laughs> oh, ow. so um, you are two points away from receiving max damage from this holy smite. <laughs> What? It's, it's just karma. a piercing damage? <laughs> no, this is bludgeoning. Slashing. Bludge- slashing that, bludgeoning. Is it an axe? No, it's a, or... it's, a, a hammer. it's a great hammer. Oh, never mind. Yeah, no, yeah, you're being big old two-handed war hammer. Oh, mean. Uh, I just got these stitches on. You're going to burst them. <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> wait. Marcus with a great hammer. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, does a, a an eight and a 13 to hit Marcus. Nope, he just blocks him with the shield. All just right. team team. <laughs> and then the okay. archers are going to fire. Okay. Um, they aren't firing at Dahlia. So it's going to be divvied between Kali and Marcus. Because they're my siblings. <clears throat> um, does a 22 hit Marcus? And uh, a 13. 13, no. 22, yes. And Callie, a dirty 20 and a 12. 20 hits, 12 doesn't. Okay. Right. 10 points of damage to Marcos. And okay. 5 to Callie. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bink. It's like a... I need- just grazing Nick. I mean, I blocked two air. I blocked three of them. I'm fine. <laughs> oh wait, these are arrows. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, they're arrows. You gotta eat yeah. them. No, <laughs> I no I've got deflect missiles. Oh. Uh. You can catch it if I do so. The damage you take is from the attack is reduced by one d10 plus twelve. If you reduce the damage to zero and you have a free hand, you can spend one key point to make a ranged attack and then just throw it. Throw it back. <laughs> All I, right. Try I'll and spend grab a key it. point and well, I already catch it because I reduced the damage oh, to zero. Nice. So I've caught it. And nice. so now I'm gonna throw it back. Alright, roll to hit. And you catches the arrow. <laughs> Don't want uh, the coolest no moments way. was. That oh, is twenty. <laughs> <laughs> that hits. So, okay. And then it's gonna hit for seven points. Ooh. Um 
Dahlia, you watch as your sibling <laughs> fires at Callie. Callie catches it, throws it back, hits him. His arm falls off, and he's just, like, standing there. He drops his bow because he can't shoot with one arm. And he's just, like, kind of hobbling and not looking too well. <laughs> the key point Do I know a name amazing. for him? <laughs> Give me a charisma check. Not charisma. Oh. Intelligence check. I, I will say, when Marcus blocked all those arrows on the flying carpet, that was probably like... Terrell? The, Terrell, yeah. Not Marcus. Terrell, sorry. Terrell blocked all the arrows on the flying carpet. That that made me feel badass. That was uh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 18 on intelligence. 18. Your mother was unable to name them, probably because in her kindness and wisdom... She wanted you to have the honor of naming them. Uh, is that what that means? Oh, it's yes, not what it all. means. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But he doesn't know what it is. So if I call out his name, he's not even going to know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm going oh, to name you right now. <laughs> I'm going to leave he, Dahlia he to He might him. respond just to your voice with a roll of 18. <laughs> <sighs> She's going to bestow a name upon him, but he's not going to know that's what she's doing. So he's not going to respond. I'm not going to have any idea. Won't know unless you try. Yeah, she will. <laughs> oh, she's cute and wholesome like that. Of course she Yeah, is. of course. It's her brother. Come on. She has his rib I feel like there's something, something wrong with this dice. <laughs> it rolls either nines or nineteens. It's about she it. waited. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a D two basically. <laughs> Hit miss. <laughs> All right, uh, that brings us back to the top of the round. Oh hey, wait. Gonna... Oh yeah. I I was gonna say, uh, Dahlia, uh, if you were gonna do your your reaction, you're free to do it. Oh, yeah. She's just gonna. She's gonna say that. She's gonna like. I I always get confused. Even if I took all that damage, I'm still standing, right? What's your? Did you get dropped to zero? Your no. Health. Yes. No. What? <laughs> no, I'm not at zero. Then you're okay. still standing. You're still standing. Okay, okay, okay. But I didn't fall or anything. No, no. no. You just okay. you just got she just, hit she, hard. Like she hit you downwards like this, and came back and hit you up like that. So even if you started to fall, she you knocked just... you back up right again. So we could say that happened. She hit you and you started to fall and then she hit you on the back once and knocked you back upright. <laughs> <laughs> and then I turned and saw myself and get yep. arm knocked off. You kind of like got hit to where you pivoted and then just got yeah. to see that interaction. <laughs> and I'm ignoring her and the imminent threat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's going to just yell out to the skeleton. She's going to say, uh, yeah. It's just a skeleton, right? Yeah, it's, it's just a skeleton. skeleton. Are you trying to come up with a pun name right now? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to have a new acrobat? Because, please. It's going uh, to be very rib tickling. Oh my god. <laughs> come back to it. Come back to it. I got to uh, think. Okay. I know. Okay. I'm a big um, head. Callie, it's your turn. Stop it. Um... I'm. I see. I'm guessing. I witness Dahlia getting fucking bludgeoned into. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Glad I witnessed that. I would like yeah. to rage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this 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 bitch is winding up for another set of attacks. Oh, we're coming after that bitch. <laughs> Kiki, what are you doing? She's, she's very attractive, but she's about to bludgeon your your girl into the ground. That's my Dude, this is a zombie. Uh, how? <laughs> Hey, I will design so her and show you. <laughs> Do it. Okay. We we have Don't spider try. girls. We have <laughs> girls. We need a zombie girl. Okay. <laughs> Complete the full Walmart Halloween experience. Exactly. Yeah. Get... I mean, Dahlia's kind of zombie, but you can't be like too decayed because then you're that's just like Frankenstein. Though that's Frankenstein. That's true. That's true. That's true. We need the full monster harem anime group right here. We need. Hot. The match we just need a slime girl now 
Um, yes. <laughs> uh, it's a 16 to hit. <laughs> uh, all right. Mark um, that that does hit. Fantastic. Um, cool. So we're going to add all of these. Just going to be well. Fourteen points of regular damage, seven points of fire. She, yeah. Uh, how do you want to do this? As she bursts Don't into flame. Fucking touch my girl. It's just gonna like straight up stab her through the gut and push her back and get between Dahlia and get take up a defensive, a semi-defensive stance. We're not gonna do the whole thing, but we're gonna defensive stance. Nice. Um, Rolling a d20. Uh, give me a charisma check. Okay. I'm adding some new mechanics to our games because yeah, you're just like it's gonna be fun. Charisma? No, I'm socially awkward. It's a fourteen. Oh, perfect. Um, her warhammer lands between your feet and not on any of your toes. Breaks. Yeah. Adding some (laughs) real world mechanics to this. Does a heavy ass hammer land on your foot? <laughs> and on my toes. And then you were perpetually raging more. Um, so then I'm going to hit something else again. All right. Uh, you've used half your movement. Okay. You can run to more if you want. Are there any ones in the immediate vicinity by Dahlia? No. This okay. Is, I'm uh, going to go. She turned the rest of them to ash. Cool. I'm going to go after. Is there anybody threatening Marcus? Because I gotta go oh, protect Dad. Oh yeah, Marcus has pretty well got a few of them over there. The, Let's go uh, protect Dad. Oh uh, yep. He did kind of just vaporize five of them, so now like, oh. Oh, crap, you're right. There aren't any left around him either. Cool. Oh. We're gonna go find more. Well, there are Full plenty range. more. Uh, there are a bunch of kids that are getting getting pretty well beat up. Okay, we're gonna go defend children then. Younger children, since your character is like 15. <laughs> 20. A child. Six, 20. Six. 26. 26. 26. Yeah, Great. No. 9. 11. Nope. Just 11 points of damage. Oof. Um, are you going to for a zombie or a skeleton? Oh, you see, you're going for zombies. Yep, it's we're going still for stands, zombies. Then. Great, we're gonna spend another key point and do another flurry of dish. Another flurry of blurs. Flurry of blurs. Flurry of blurs. Flurry of blurs. That yeah. is a nat twenty for twenty eight. You don't just <laughs> kill this one. You, like, punch your stomach through its gut? Punch the stomach through its gut? My stomach? No, <laughs> My no, no. Like, you punch, <laughs> and you find something. You're like, oh, this must be what's left of its stomach. And you push it out the back, drop it on the ground like a mic drop, and then grab its spine on the way through. Pull the spine out oh, straight up so that the head combat. lands perfectly, just accordion down uh, to where the <laughs> head lands on, like, in the hips. Like fatality. Ooh, <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Like, like, fatality. Like, okay, and then just <laughs> fatality. Yeah. yeah. Um. So then I'm going. To... You do oh, like you do like the 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 French thing where they whip the the tablecloth out under the dishes, <laughs> except it's with the spine out of the body. <laughs> yep. And. <laughs> <laughs> so it just goes it's like legs and hips and then like head and arms right on top so <laughs> there was no go, spine holding be, those apart anymore this is gonna be really stupid but i have really great weapon master looking. so when i score a critical hit with a melee weapon and reduce the character to zero then i can make a ba- another weapon attack as a bonus action so i'm gonna just take another attack go for it uh that is uh 17 to hit yeah, and the zombie Yep. Great. Callie's just cleaning house over here. Holy cow. 
That is 10, 14, 16 points of damage. Yeah, that hits and, and I, obliterates. Uh, cool, and then I still have my second hit for my Flurry of Blows. Oh. Come back into my tray. <laughs> that is a another nat 20. Six seconds, uh, Callie is like... <laughs> yeah. it's not even visible <laughs> she's, she's mace windu from the 19 from the 2002 animated clone yes. wars movie. Yes. <laughs> I, I, that is my clone wars that is my clone wars gendry gendry tartakovsky my man no it's the wrong day hold on hold on hold on that is going to be a grand total of 7 14 28 points of damage Uh, how much? 28. Uh, so about that, you know, you get to kill, kill another one. Yeah, it, it, you kill it. Great. Uh, so this is my bonus action. I've used most of my move. Yeah, I'm done now. All right. <laughs> I love Mux. <laughs> Mux <monkeys are, laughs> are fucking great. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I, I love my ranger boy Milo, but him as a Kensei monkey would be brutal. Yep. You're so good. Just mew, 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 mew. <laughs> we look away, and then we look back, and Callie is the only one standing on like seven bodies. <laughs> you just see a little comet running around, yeah. and, like yeah. their hairs on fire. <laughs> and they're all on fire as she kills them too. Because yeah. She's just like a little comet. So, okay, that happens. Um, did you have you killed it? So you get another bonus attack, right? It is a bonus action, but I've, oh, unless like you'll give me two bonus actions. Um, for the heck of it, I'll say you get another free attack, just because I'm enjoying Kelly being on the <laughs> rampage. Y'all ain't ever seen a rage like this, motherfuckers. <laughs> What yeah, that, hit my this? girl. Eating your old rage. Callie really is turning. When you, when you rage as a monk, you just keep <laughs> going. You don't just rage a little bit. You, you rage, rage all the way in long. You go full rage mode. Dude, Callie is now definitely the mild group because someone touches her girl you touch and they my die. Girl. You fucking die. You die, and everyone in the immediate, 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 fuck me, immediate vicinity <laughs> dies too. I mean, yeah. I would, but I don't think Callie would. Have, well, not Callie, Kayla would appreciate that. And sometimes. The what? Oh, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it. No, it's okay. I'll take care of Kayla. It's okay. You'll be all right. <laughs> That's an 18 to hit. That hits? Yes, it does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, that is, is a 14 points of damage. <laughs> this one, you punch it! Mm -hmm. And it still stands. I'm a little tired. Back at you. <laughs> I'm a little tired. I've been going very fast. No, here's what it does. You go, whoosh, and you find that it's caught your hand, and it's sneering at you with this undeadness. And then Good. you look and you realize, when it caught your hand, you tore its arm off. Smile. <laughs> it's still I'm standing, so but not so off. good after that. <laughs> you just he goes to catch it, punch it, it's keep it off. Yep. It's like, You're like, oh my Ew. gosh, he caught my Oh. <laughs> <Ew. laughs> it's still gripping yeah. your hand. You're just it's just not mm -hmm. attached anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like um Death Grip. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. So Gross. Follow that up, <laughs> spellcaster. <laughs> Spellcasters. I get after one were, thing. After you were like, Me <laughs> melee, don't do yeah. melee sucks. Melee don't proceeds do to take over fifty points of damage from the one attacking her. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. But that was a crit, and 
I stand by what I said. <laughs> Maybe it's just because all my melee sucks because I am a spellcaster. <laughs> but I stand by it. <laughs> when do you play melee characters? I play Bar? characters with swords. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. Oh, like, that's Var? Var? No, I thought you said yeah. Well, Var is fine. Var can hit. Because in Kralis, you get a melee, and you're like, this is 100,000 points of damage if I had a success. <laughs> <Correct. Nice. laughs> but, yeah, yeah Var is so easy. Well, there's the abilities, but... I'm yeah, sorry, did you it's say like... Var is like Patrick Swayze? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> no. I don't Road know who house. that is. I don't know who that uh, is, but no. um, probably not. I don't know, actually. No. Okay. Just say no. Just say no. 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 no roadhouse. No roadhouse. <laughs> so. Yes. Um. <clears throat> I lost my train of thought. Um. Is that yes. is that is that the end of your turn? Yeah, that's that's my turn. Now it's uh, uh, Dahlia's turn. All right. No, no, no. It's Dahlia's turn. Mm-hmm. Right. Dahlia needs to. That's what she just said. That's what. <laughs> yep. I'm fine. Don't... I know what I'm doing. Don't correct me. <laughs> Don't correct me. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Is this my cue? Is yeah, it okay? This is your cue. I'm yeah. waiting on you. We're waiting for you. I'm sorry, I was waiting for Marco. Yeah, I'm, we're, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> sorry, I thought I was waiting for someone else. Okay, well, she's still on her sibling, so she's gonna, like, she's she has like a reaction when they lose their arm. So she's like, what did you say? She, you said they don't have a name. Probably, probably because, because your mom wanted you to have the honor of naming them. Okay. So she turns around and she's kind of like shocked to see them lose an arm. She's like, oh my God. Okay. Um, I will name you right now, so you know that you have to run away. Okay, <laughs> my brother, Bon Jovi, you have to get out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> nice. Yes. yes. And she waits for a reaction. Um, roll a persuasion check. Really? The skeleton can understand me? Yes, they can understand speech. I didn't know that. <laughs> it just can't talk. Yeah. I thought it would just be like nothing. <laughs> persuasion? Here it is. Yep. Oh, wow. I'm really not persuasive today. That's an 11. 11? All right. Let me roll an insight check for it. <clears throat> <laughs> is it worse or it's better? It's 7. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it looks at you and goes. And just starts running. <laughs> and she's going to turn to the next available not sibling creature. And... Uh, no poison damage. How, about, how many are there left? About. There's maybe about seven left at this point. Okay. Um there's not really much I can do, so I'm gonna hit one of them with primal savagery again. Twenty five hit. Yeah it hits. Okay. And that's gonna be oh no. Uh, Oh, never mind. That's yes. It's double zero. That means it's max. 
20 acid damage. Nice. I thought it was the worst, but it's the Melt best. Melt this undead into a puddle of goo. <laughs> Goodbye. That's all I can do. <laughs> now we move on to the villagers' turns. Oh, okay. Wait. Marcus. Marcus. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, Marcus. Your turn. Wow, you sound so repentant. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, how many of the undead are close to me? Um, all right, you're a warlock who serves demons. Why should I support you? I'm a cleric who serves gods. Right, same thing, same thing. Not okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, eh, there's probably about three near you. Well, All right. not near you, near you, but like, you know, within running range, you can probably actually catch up to any of them in your in your turn. Uh, can I get them all close enough to me to do Word of no. Radiance again? <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, I technically still have... Uh... Okay, where I killed the one undead archer, is there one close to that? There are two close to that. Cool. Because uh, he's going to run up to the nearest one to him. And he's going to hit it. Uh, that is a... Ah, uh, come on, Google. What are you doing? There we are. Yeah, there is one, yeah. That is a 23 to hit. The, that hits. With the morning star. <laughs> All right, that is a 14 to hit to, for damage. All right, that hits. I mean, 14 for damage, sorry. Oh, yeah, you kill it. You know, so he just comes in, I assume, he the zombie or skeleton or whatever is attacking the villager. He just full on. Are you attacking in one of the archers on the far side of the room, or are you attacking one of the zombies that's actively attacking a villager? No, zombies has attacked the actively attacking a villager okay. right now. Yeah. And then he still has spiritual weapon up, so he's going to use that to attack the other one. Okay. But yeah. So, no, he's going to the one that's currently threatening a villager right now. All right. 14 points of damage. Point. It's still up, but it's hurt. Oh, damn. Okay. And then let me roll for the... And that's a nat 20 for the... <laughs> one other archer, so... Eight. Ah! No! Hey. But do H just got lost under the couch. Hold on. Oh, got there it goes. No, oh, no. Got it. Okay. So, 15. Plus 5. That's uh, 20 damage to the archer. The bones like Legos. <laughs> Everywhere. Dolly, you watch in horror as this spectral weapon raises high above your sibling, arcs down, and narrowly misses him and it hits the archer next to him. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, and Marcus is going to try and get in between the villager and the skeleton if he can't, or Fair whatever enough. is attacking him. All right. Um, The yeah, villagers go next. The villager pushes past you and attacks it and kills it with its one hit point left. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, at this point, uh, all of them go down. Uh, the doctor that helped birth you has been slain. <clears throat> I, I hate uh, it. And um, all that is left is your sibling on the far side of the uh, on the far side of your courtyard, looking rather confused and concerned. <laughs> Wait, but one of my siblings made it because they the yeah, thing they missed ran away. him. Oh. But the other one got missed? Yeah. So why is there only one left? Because there's only two. Yeah, but two made it. No, one left the battlefield. There's only one Oh, left okay, on okay, the on the back. Okay, but mm. alive. Yeah. Undead. Yeah, no yeah. one's gotten near enough to touch him yet. Oh, yeah, that spectral gone. weapon is hovering over him. I mean, are, are we still in combat technically, or? Your call. Is that the last one? He's the last one. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> Are you gonna say something finally, Dahlia? Otherwise, huh? Mark is gonna whack it. Well, Callie will get what? the turn first. Oh yeah, Callie will. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> so we're giving Dahlia a chance to say something now as Callie starts sprinting towards it. We're going for arson. Full, complete, utter arson. What yeah, she's arson? just gonna. She's gonna. What? What part of the body? Like, is it a rib from both of them? Uh, no. Uh, it is actually uh, uh, a foot from the one that you had told to. No, 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 no. Uh, a a foot from that? this one. And a rib and your left hand from the one that you told to run away, which means the left hand that was torn off wasn't even his original hand. Hmm. You got a new one. (laughs) You got replaced. Uh, Okay, so... So the one in front of me is the one who gave me a hand and a foot. No, the one in just rib. gave you a foot and a rib. The other one gave you a rib and a hand. Foot and a rib. Okay. So she's going to just kind of screech. Does she see Callie running towards him? Uh, yeah. Them? You like, see this little skeleton. dead sprint <laughs> as she goes towards them. She's going to say, wait, this is my hand and rib brother. Yeah, Callie will stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> he gave me the hand and the rib is my brother. Oh, come, what? Here. come here. She beckons him for a hug. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. Roll persuasion. Let's do it again. <laughs> you keep making girl persuasion. Pino's He's too good. So he definitely Damn hears it. that. Marcus hears that. Let's 16. see if we can concentrate on the spell. <laughs> he loses it. He rolled a nat one on that concentration. Ooh. So he's no just there. so dumbfounded by Ooh. this that the <laughs> weapon that's hanging over him just poof. Interrupts. Uh, what'd you roll? Six. Six? All right, yeah. let's roll him. Uh, it, what? Be persuaded. It's, it's a nice persuaded. hug. Your that, titty uh, height. Rib, rib, right. uh, rib, bro, rib. That's very convincing That's a to two. anybody. If you, yes, rib. <laughs> come here, <laughs> come here, my rib at hand, brother. I was about to say that. He is stands and stares, just like a confused battle droid, just like, huh? It's not the programming. <laughs> <laughs> And Wait, then just this, starts to this, shamble this, over towards you, dropping his gear and like arms out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, if, the, if the dead are droids, does that mean that Dahlia is like the one from Mandalorian that I don't know the numbers yeah, for? Yeah, she's basically IG, IG an IG. IG. <laughs> she's an IG unit. <laughs> she's been reprogrammed with for nursing. Right, fun, yes. Also, fun little thing, Naz. Uh, Dahlia is taller than Marcus. <laughs> by like three inches. Nice. How tall is Dolly again? Six three. Six three. Oh, oh yeah. Marcus is six even. She tall. So he has to go, right? <laughs> well, just a little bit. Callie's little Callie's five three, so this is hot. <laughs> <laughs> like ha. Ah. Yeah. yeah, you're out of combat Perfect. now. And hugging one of the skeletons. And hugging one of the skeletons, which everyone is watching. <laughs> they got their <laughs> weapons drawn against Dali, and now they're very uncertain. <laughs> She's just like in a big hug, like, see it? It's my brother. Yeah. You've grown okay, so much. guys. She's just a little bit odd. Mark- Marcus is about to heal them, but then but, yeah. he sees everyone just like have weapons toward Dali. It is. Rod is like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. It, she, he, she's a good, she, she is very kind, very sweet. Just, she kind of was born a few hours, about an hour ago. Well, it's my birthday. Yes, happy birthday. You, you Thank you. Sweet summer child. Anyway. I want to make art of Dahlia. It's my birthday. <laughs> but she's, she's fine and. You, this is her uh, rib 
brother? Is that what you just said? And hand! Rev and hand, sibling. Sorry, but yeah. No, it's it'll be fine. Yeah, he's fine. Look, he's grown so much. I don't know if he has. It's kind of he'll, okay. he'll just Maybe. turn to Callie and just... Oh, gosh. But yeah, what was it, Mark? I'm sorry. Eh. I'm Maybe your perception check Because I can't you. remember her name. The, um, the other kid right they have now. tagging along with them. As, as oh, a... the one that kept running into walls. Yep. Yeah. As... Oh, yeah. Asaka. Yeah. No, Asani. Asani, yeah. Asani. Oh, yeah. Oh, Asaka, something else. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't have a high-level demon in the party anymore. I Please, mean, no. <laughs> so wait, do I need a roll of persuasion to keep people from not attacking Dahlia? Yeah, right give me that? a persuasion check. Oh, don't attack me. Because I, because like Marcus Vaughn's trying to convince them not to attack this haggled please together girl. Please don't attack. Uh, okay, twenty three. Okay, um, yeah, everyone kind of stands down. They're they're wary, but they'll stand down. Marcus will just exhale out of cover and just turn to Dahlia. Now, we'll keep them, but you gotta watch them, alright? Make sure you don't attack nobody. Bon Jovi wanders back, to, back into the room. Bon Jovi? Is that, bon is Jovi, that what yes. you named him was Bon Jovi? Yes. I love that so <laughs> much. And now there's another one. Oh my god. This is Bon Jovi! He is my... Rib and foot brother. <laughs> Different rib. Different. Okay. He has also Marcus. grown. It's been so long. Marcus will just turn to Callie. We're just. We're just gonna. We're not gonna. We're gonna let it happen. She kind of holds um, one of them's hands, and she's like, "Come on, Bon Jovi, we are going." Why do I always find such weird? Just, people? just accept it. Just, just accept it. We're just gonna if they if they're if they're gonna be chill, we're gonna be chill with her. It's okay. But I, we're just I, we're just gonna be chill with her. Okay. I know. I know. It's just I didn't think I would have to deal with kids a brains. Flock, random a, a flock of the undead. No, I did think I would have to deal with the undead at some point, but I would think that I wouldn't have to deal with one of my... Oh my gosh, I almost called her my child. One of... Yeah, I'll just say that. One of my child... Bring, one of my children bringing back a pet from outside and being like, can we keep... This is exactly like that. Except I'm... they're bones. <laughs> um... They're bony. And not even in the way of, like, they're hungry. They're literally bones. I don't think boning means what you think it does. Oh my gosh, that is not important right now. I don't, I don't think boning means what you think it does. Um, um so she's got skeletons with her. Mm-hmm. Do yeah, you, she I does. get a pet? No, fuck no. no. They're not pets, fuck they're my brothers. Oh, does anyone well, need healing? I have brothers. Does anyone need healing? I am right He's here to heal. So dramatic. Yeah, I also have brothers. I have four of them. One of them's mm-hmm. here, hopefully. I'm an only here. child. Yeah. God, that, that must figures. be quiet. That must be so quiet. I mean, to be fair, my parents were both terrible assholes, but we're gonna unpack that. Aww. You had parents though. Wow, are we just really gonna unload our trauma right here, right now? I was well, going what? to Well, what? He's talking people. about how great his life is. I can totally just bring a little bit of reality into his world. I'm gonna go call Sorsha to make sure she's alright. He's gonna okay. take out the sending stone and just <laughs> walk away from everyone. Okay. Just like, oh, wait, uh, sorry, sorry. He's gonna turn to the group. Does anyone else need healing? I'm here if you need it. 
Everyone all right? I got I got a scratch. All right, come here. I'll come here. Let. Dahlia took some hit. <laughs> oh, all right. I noticed. Uh, hold on. He's gonna cast on the little kid. He is going to cast first level. This isn't level. the kid. This is Zani. <laughs> oh, this is Zani. A... <laughs> she took bitch. two points of damage. It's like She's a scratch. Being a... <sighs> Being a bitch, she's gonna waste. Put a bent thing on it. Yeah, he's, gonna wait, bend he's gonna like look at her and go and just let her. Heal gonna waste anyone, a spell. Heal anyone who asks for it. <laughs> and just put his hand <laughs> over the. Pain. She gets freaking. Let's see. I I don't really need it. I was I was being facetious. Well, you were being a bitch is what you were. It, she gets 14 points of damage. The skin is better than damage. Damage. <laughs> damage. damage. 14 this... points of damage. You get Four, worse. It wasn't was cure wounds. It was to inflict pain. It was inflict oh, God. Wounds. Get worse. No. So he, it's 14 points. So not only does. Roll it initiative. Perfectly, <laughs> oh, she's not a only, bitch. Not only does it perfectly heal, but that specifically, that thing of skin has never been clear. Like it is oh. like ooh, soft as hell, she's and he's impressed. just gonna he look like a bitch. Don't piss her off too much. No, I will. <laughs> no, this is this is now my nemesis. She he's looks gonna... sus. <laughs> he's gonna do that and then turn all the of others. Markham's characters look sus. No, yeah. she looks extra sus. <laughs> That's okay. I'll make her my enemy anyways because she's being a bitch. Do it. And I'm v- being very vocal about calling her a bitch to her face. You know so. <laughs> Marcus will do that. They'll turn to anyone, all the rest of us. Anyone else need healing? There are a number of kids that you know raise their hands. The adults are like, "No, we'll be fine," but there are a number right. of kids who are pretty badly beat up. Um, uh, this one, um, individual, um, walks over to you. He's kind of a middle-aged man. Uh, what the frick is his species? Um. Oh, Does it say uh, Nope. Turtle. He's a turtle. Oh, he's a turtle. Really quick. Yeah. Uh, so first, while he is there, he's just gonna place his hand on Dahlia's shoulder, just kind of like reaching up there, and right. she will get ooh thirty six points of healing. Thank you. Nice. So she'll just feel like this sort of warm. Uh, warm light coming from his hand Aww. and just start to heal most of the wounds if it doesn't heal all of them, but most of them. Nice. Uh, this kind of, he kind of like has this weathered middle-aged look uh, as as an older-ish turtle does. Um, turtles being immortal, it's hard to guess his age, but he looks kind of middle-aged which means he's probably older. Mm-hmm. Walks over and he appears to be kind of the leader of getting everyone out and making sure they're armed and stuff. As he grabs the, the war hammer that was dropped and by the one that was clobbering on Dahlia, kind of puts on his shoulder. And <clears throat> he is not one of your members. You've never seen this guy before. Okay. He's not so from I... your ship. So okay. I... But he is wearing sailor's clothing. You can't trust the locals. Okay, he's wearing sailor's clothing, though, so that's something. He is. He's... is it, what color is he? Uh, he is kind of a deep... Um, you can't just ask kind that. Of de- <laughs> kind of a deep <laughs> green. Okay. <laughs> he's got, like, flecks, flecks and streaks of gold throughout his shell and stuff, but he's a deep green. Okay. Uh, so that's... <laughs> Okay, so I'm anything just shifted. incredibly problematic. So Marcus, yeah, <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> you can ask that. What color is that turtle's shell? <laughs> so Marcus has learned that people are shit on this island. So mm-hmm. he immediately will like just kind of look him over, and I got a twenty-six on an insight check to see if this guy is shifty at all. This guy is clearly from a different shipwreck. He's not from yours, but he's also clearly not from here, and he's also clearly been a prisoner here for a long time because his clothes are in somewhat of tatters. Okay. So, pretty safe so far. 
Is there anything on him that may distinguish where he's from? Mm -hmm. There actually is. He wears a pendant uh, around his neck, and it is a gold... Uh, it's a gold eight star, six star, something like that. Um, the, the symbol of Elyon, the creator, ah, um, man. you can He's get these Hedden. elsewhere. He wouldn't have been able to get this if he was living on this continent after everything that's happened in the desecration of the, the holy artifacts that were here. Um, so chances are. Down by the quality of this one, he probably got this at the High Temple of Elion, which is located um, on Veltana in the oh, northern, wow. the, the Mulvernon region. Oh. oh, damn. How? Not recently. Before us. Hmm? Nothing. I'm trying to merge universes and be a little shit, so it's okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, so, I'm trying uh, to do the things that I normally do and just, you know. Fair enough. Fair enough. I cross the it. streams and be a little shit. <laughs> so the turtle came up to him. What does the turtle want? He just, he, for her, he just, <laughs> he, he shoulders it and sh uh, he, well, he swaps it to his left hand, shoulders it, and then extends his right hand to shake silently. He'll just take the hand and shake it as well. We appreciate the help, stranger. Nah, anytime. Uh, name's Marcus. Pleasure to help. The name is... One second here. Shit. <laughs> Sean Connery. Um... Sean Connery. <laughs> nah, it's, one word. It's alright. One word. You, I can imagine you're Sean very all. hungry and that affects the mind. So don't His worry. His name's Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Well, by the oh, way... Hey, uh, how many of the kids needed healing? Because you will cast another healing. Word about through, probably about four or five. Hello. About uh, about Hello? four or five. Can you not hear okay, me? Okay, yeah. Okay. No, sorry, my internet just oh. freaked out for oh, some no. reason. The name is. Uh, so you know. The name Shamar Guthrin. Is the name yeah. actually Seamus? Did I call it? What? No, Shamar. Close oh, though. Oh, Shamar. <laughs> It was close. It was close. I was Shamar. like, this man sounds like a Seamus. <laughs> Shamar, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. And as he's saying this, he'll uh, wave his amulet and heal the four kids, which they get 12 points of healing. All right. Uh, well, I can tell, if I may, that you have been in there for quite a little bit of time. I'm not quite sure how many years I've been here, but... It's been quite some time. Well, either way, we're just glad to help you out of there. Oh, uh, happy to be assisted. Ah, so, uh, you know, how close are... how They're far away from Sanctuary at this point, right? You're back to a couple months away, yeah. Back to a couple months away? Well, you're only that far away because you were traveling at a snail's pace. If you were actually picking up the pace and not traveling with wounded and children and stuff. Had a horse. Or carriage. Yeah, Callie was there in like two weeks. <laughs> I had a horse. Yeah, you had a horse. I had a horse. I like that uh, horse. Where's that horse? I want that horse back. That's a good question. Where's that <laughs> horse? It was very uh, thematic. had yeah, a fire yeah, horse with a fire Nazi. Right? It was great. It was. It was great. So, yeah, I guess. Okay, so things Marcus has to do now. Well, he already healed the children. Uh, contact Sorcha to, to let her know that he's all right and he's somewhere. And then cat contact Allie to see where the hell she wants us to go at this point. Yeah. We gathered uh, the Genasi. Gathered the children. Yeah. <laughs> now so, we're good. Mark him. Is this going to be another you're throwing babies at God again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please no. So he'll actually turn to uh, Callie and go, uh, Cal, if you wouldn't mind, I do have to try and contact a few people. Can you make sure everyone is all right? Just get them all gathered. Make sure uh, no one needs any food. They got, I got rations right here in my bag, and he takes it off and hands it to her if they need some food. So, respectfully, Marcus, is this the best place to be doing this? Well, right now, shouldn't it's... we still leave the? Weird laboratory building. 
well, no, we are going to leave it. It just I gotta have an idea of where to go. Otherwise, we're just gonna be wandering around in the desert. We might just leave. Please just leave, and we'll figure out where we're going after we leave. Uh, fine, we'll leave, but I'm making a call along the way. Okay. And he'll just turn to Gallon and go, you just, you just stay safe, all right? To who? To Dahlia? To who? Yeah, to Dahlia. Dahlia's so, staying with me. Okay, yeah, you, you'll be safe, man. Um, yeah, Dahlia's staying with me. All right. And he'll turn back to Shamer. Wait, I almost... Shamar. 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 I'm Shamar. Shamar Goose. Let's go. All right, well... He sounds like Sean Connery. Right. Well, Shamar, I know we might not necessarily know each other, but we would definitely appreciate your help and just... God, just just surviving this fucked up island. No doubt in my mind that this island is... Yes, rather fucked. <laughs> it's alright, you can say it, trust me, I've been saying it for the past few months now. Thoroughly. Understandable. Thoroughly. But, Callie does have a point. Let's just try and get out of here. I'll make a call along the way, and then when we set up for camp, hopefully in a safe place, I'll be able to contact uh, Allie and see if there's a place we might be able to go. Because heaven knows we can't stay out here. That's far enough. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> <gasps> Yay! Yummy night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Markham, you're so cute. You are. You're I appreciate cool. it. You're so cute. <laughs> so. Love you. It's Help. a brownie with ice cream. Oh, you're so, so awesome. fucking cute. <laughs> Huh? It was delicious. Thank you. Good. Kayla, I love you too. They say they love you, Kayla. She says she loves you back. Thank you. So, so. yeah, I think we'll just get moving. And he'll make a call to Sorsha along the way. All right. Wait, we're leaving? We're leaving. Oh. Yeah, and you uh... see, you see uh, Marcus has... We're starting to go pull out the sending stone. Oh yeah, Callie and Callie doesn't know that he has a sending stone now. Mm -mm. So you just see him pull out a rock. I mean, I'm guessing Callie has seen a sending stone. Has she? How common are they? Because she like Give me an Arcana check. They're not the okay. most common. Okay. It's a dirty twenty. She knows what. It yeah, is. you've seen those. She knows before. what a sending stone is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, Dahlia, what at this where point, you found awesome. one is beyond me, but you know you have one. Cool, it's very helpful in these times. Yeah, should I roll Arcana as well? Uh, you just you don't have a clue. I just don't at. know. It wasn't <laughs> in one of my brains. <laughs> you see him pull out a rock. Oh, that's true. It could be in one of your brains. Okay, yeah, yeah. Roll. <laughs> Wait, how did he get the sending stone? Was that? I, I think remember. it was a gift from oh, it might be. Sorsha to be able to Oh keep yeah, it was a gift. Her. It was a gift from Sorsha, yeah. In case they're ever apart. It's nineteen. <laughs> it might be one of my brains. <laughs> All right, yeah, she actually has seen one of these before. God knows where. No, who knows before where. I was Somewhere. born I saw this. <laughs> one of the brains knows. One yeah. of the brains knows. <laughs> one of the brains knows. Wait. The secret. What? Wait, what god does uh Sorsha worship again? This is very important information. Uh, let me check. Was it not Ali? But maybe if no. no, she worshipped a different deity. She worshipped like a, not a war god, but like one of the more like, one of the more violent gods, I think. That or I could just be assuming because of Paladin. You're mixing them with Gertrude. No, yeah, she served uh, Vidar the Vengeful. Uh, okay. uh, what's Vidar sig sign? Like their insignia? Um, red dragon wings. Uh, with the crossbow in front of them, black crossbow in front. Oh, I can work with that. I can work with that. Okay. <laughs> uh, so he'll 
Damn it, Matt! Stop are you trying to find? Are you try, are you trying to find a, a term of endearment? Yes, I am. <laughs> he has. Mm-hmm. Stop laughing at yourself. Stop <laughs> laughing at yourself. Mm-hmm. Go I, on, flirt with him. <laughs> no, it's just the names are coming up, and I'm just okay. I got two. You names. can't call her a bad dragon. Don't do that. No. Oh, heavens no. Okay. <laughs> Good okay, that only got... you and I know what Bad Dragon is, apparently. Uh, okay, uh-huh. I got... Okay, Selkie, odds or evens? Evens. <laughs> He'll just kind of just sort of go out of the way. And oh, just, no. And just go... <laughs> This is the dice. This is what dice wanted. He'll just go and go, uh, Dragon Mama, are you there? This is why I remember the voice before. <laughs> Hi, Dragon Daddy. I'm here. What's up? Uh, ah, sorry. Just let me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. So can you get back into the accent? Here, I, here we go. Here we go. She's kind of got that more Scottish accent. You named her Sorsha and you gave her a Scottish accent? It's either Scottish or Irish. I was to say, she better be Irish with the name like Sorsha. I sometimes mix the two up in my head. So sometimes it comes out Scottish and sometimes it comes out Irish. I need to go back to Matt calling mommy. <laughs> Dragon mommy. Dragon mommy. How are you What's all up, right? mama? No, now, now she's some something completely different. I don't know what this accent is, but this is neither. <laughs> <laughs> she's completely Indian now. <laughs> oh, ow. My ribs hurting so much. <laughs> are you okay? Uh, no. You're <sighs> okay, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> We're losing control. We are losing it's control. L- it's late. We're this losing is what the control. dice wanted, though. It's late. She is mm-hmm. now dragon mommy. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit confused. I mean, I made it to the temple like I told you. And then Allie kind of teleported me to the tower, apparently. Uh, there, the person I was hunting after... Uh, opened a bunch of portals to demons, like even more demons than we have now. Uh, I encountered Callie, though. <laughs> so there's that. Callie's back. And uh, he turns back to Dahlia and back to the stone. And if, I know I have a ter- we have a terrible talent for this, but we kind of picked up another stray. Well, a lot of strays. But they're really nice. I think, at least. Well... Just be safe, all right? All right. And you guys haven't had any trouble, have you? I know I kind of just poofed away, but I just want to make sure you're all right. No, we've had some we've had some tough fights, but we're doing all right. You know what? Let's talk about uh, AI I'm glad to hear that. It helps a lot with communication, but it's still really important to make sure oh. that everything are- And uh <laughs> Sir Sir Wellington kind of got Taken by an arch devil. The what? I'm sorry, dear, uh, but it kind of came through a little bit jumbled. Uh, <laughs> so Sir Wellington got taken by an arch devil. Okay, that's what I thought you said, but I I figured it couldn't be true, so I I just I thought Trust maybe me. I heard it wrong. No, there trust me. Voice is coming back. <laughs> yeah. No, trust me. I would not have believed it if I didn't see it. Also, uh, is there any precedent for devils and gods getting together? Because I have a lot of questions, and I don't know if I want them answered. I don't know, darling. I can do some research, and I, I, I can I can pray to Vidar for some wisdom, but I don't know. I appreciate it, Dragon Mommy. I'm just we're we're I'm gonna pray to Allie. Hopefully find somewhere safe and yeah i'll just 
Update you on the situation, darling. All right, dear. Stay safe, Dragon Daddy. You too, Dragon Mommy. Love you. All right, love you too. Just call Haynes up. I don't know how you hang up ascending sending stuff. Like, <laughs> it's like a phone. Um, Just... So as you guys make your way out of the city, well, not city, the um, the ruins, y'all are, are heading for a new place, trying to find a new hiding place? Yeah. Place a right new now. hiding place. All right, roll a survival check for me, whoever you guys want to head up this um, search for a new hiding place. I got uh, a plus two. I got a plus, wait, Oh, wait, no. Just watch I Dally. Have... I have the best survival. <laughs> eight. Plus eight. Yeah, I might. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, Holy hold shit. On. <laughs> what oh, level no. are you? I got a... Ten. Okay. Wow. I got a plus nine for mine, because he okay. got trained by a ranger. So... Cool. I don't know where we are. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Come on, boy. Or you can... Dolly yeah, I guess can you assist can... him and give him advantage. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Sure. So, him and Dolly. Oh, so Dahlia wow, does yeah. indeed help lead. I'm so... just looking at Dahlia. That's all I care. <laughs> right. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, let's see if Marcus notices that. He does not. That is a nat one. That is Great. Not a nat you don't know. You notice nothing. Oh, no, please. but he did. But because of Dahlia, I did get a 19. So, that is a 28 for survival. Nice. Okay, so. You guys do find a nice, cozy cave in the mountains. Um, Great. Nothing bad ever happens here. <laughs> nothing Shane bad Mata happens here. Shane Mata does set up kind of a, a, a rotating watch, assigns some of the more skilled warriors among them, including himself and Marcus, of course, and clearly Callie, mm -hmm. to take turns watching. Um, Callie gets a lighter load, though, because he does recognize she's younger and therefore needs to have more free time Hi. and less work time. So she only has one watch per, like, every two days or something like that. Or one watch a day as opposed to you know, multiple watches a day. Um, and I Marcus can hold my own! <laughs> Marcus volunteers to cover her second I want to roll a perception for Shamar. Uh, which dice should I use? I mean, a d20. No, I mean, I roll different dice for each NPC. Okay. Oh! So with the 24, he does notice, and he intentionally, for her one watch, puts Dali on with her. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! She's a perceptive old tortle. Hell yeah, lesbians. So. What an Mar ally, honestly. Marcus just looks and goes, hey! What an ally. Hey, y'all got the same watch. That's great! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Uh, so as you guys settle down for, uh, now, um, trying to just hunker down and survive in the mountains, most of your party safe and sound, uh, the rest trying to find you, we pan over, I told you this was coming, Naz. Oh, yeah. Into the <laughs> abyss. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Where... For the last several hours, I think she's dead. The abyss is your dead. No, the hells are your dead. The abyss is just where the eldritch horrors live. No, the eldritch horrors live in the void. No, oh. the demons it's, live it's in the worse. abyss. The so she's a demon now. <laughs> in, de demons live in the abyss. Devils live in the hells. So oh. now she's a demon. Demons is what you're are saying. basically devils. So demons and devils are both fallen gods. And other celestials that that turned evil. Uh, the difference is that demons are far more chaotic and have no rules. Anything goes. All's fair in anything. Demons All I'm hearing is she's kind of now a, a demon. Conduct. No, you are oh. basically a demon's thrall. You're still oh. yourself, <laughs> but you're, you're just a, a little bitch. power bank for him to draw from. Oh, that's slowly awesome. consume your soul over the next few thousand years. You're, oh my god, you're a little blood bag. Yeah, yeah, I'm like what other people were to be for so long. Right. To a you, demon. You you've been reduced yeah. to you've been reduced to a battery pack. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're a battery pack for a demon. Good. And job. now I'm stuck with Histon. So Histon mm -hmm. is following along in spectral chains, and he kind of looks at your gloating, uh, gl 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 ghostly floating form, and there just kisses. What exactly did you say to this thing? 
did we just get in here? You guys have been walking and traveling in silence behind it for the last few hours. She... He hasn't spoken to you. It's been like almost a day's worth at this point. Okay, because I was going to say, if it's been a few hours, I don't think she'd speak to him either. No, he, for the first like day of just following this thing around. He's just glaring at each it, other. He's just glaring at you, but not speaking. Uh, but after about a day or so, he finally just is... What exactly did you say to this thing? Because <laughs> clearly, it didn't work. Fucking worked. What didn't work was me going home. Hmm. My dear, you were never going home. And you were never opening a fucking portal and being conqueror of fucking whatever. <laughs> it's really... Quite adorable that you think you ever had any power here. And I, for one, am quite put out by your behavior. I knew you were a bad apprentice, but I did not know you were this bad to stoop to treachery. She kind of looks like half dejected, half angry still. She mm. just kind of like looks at him and she's like we're both in fucking chains in the abyss. <laughs> yes, I know. You are, anyhow. I won't be for long. You're not fucking getting out. You signed your life away. And yes. I'm not getting out. I did. Well, more appropriately, you signed my life away. Hey, you signed it. Yes, well, luckily I've been having a wonderful telepathic conversation for the last 24 hours. Mm-hmm. And guess who can do more than just act as a little electrical battery pack? Um, I'm sorry. And, and act more than a, um, than a fuel source. Me, that's what? who. The one who still has his physical body. Yes, the corporeal one. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you're going to get dinner too. You'll see. I just wanted to say goodbye, Abigail. And thank you for nothing. Although I guess I should thank you for something because you are uh, partially helpful. If you make it back to whatever fucking realm... I will use whatever fucking means necessary to crawl my ass out of here and haunt you so much that you wish you were back here with me right now. <laughs> you have such lofty ambitions, Abigail. I wish you the best of luck, but I'm quite afraid you are going to be stuck here forever along with those little rugrats you've got with you. Anyhow, I just wanted to say... I, I wanted to say something before I went. And as he says this, the demon stops walking in front of this portal that appears to be opening up back into the material world and beyond there. You can see it still looks very hellish, but it looks more hellish. But by the ruins in the distance, you can tell it's probably a shale. And the the spectral chains don't disappear, uh, don't aren't removed, but they kind of like meld into him and just vanish. Kind of like it's now just an understood bond between him and this demon. And with a salute, he goes, "Well, ta ta, darling, I have work to do." And he steps through the portal, and the demon proceeds along its way. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> any any last words for Abigail as he parts? She's just yelling like a scream, <laughs> like a howl. Oh. She's fucking mad. This is so, you just gotta scream. You just yeah. yeah, she's pissed. So another two hours go by. You've now hit the twenty four hour mark since your demise. Please make a constitution saving throw. What do you want to happen to me? I am dead. 
I have already died. What more do you want? We double dead. Hey. That's hey a ten. That's a ten? I'm double dead. Meets it, beats it. Hey yo. <laughs> I'm not double dead, I'm single dead. With a with a sudden sensation of pulling. You look around and you see the fear on the kids' faces around you as your forms appear to dissipate. And your vision suddenly feels like you're... You ever spun really fast? Yes. <laughs> we talked about <laughs> this the other day. <laughs> yeah. So... Go on. Sorry. So They're putting orcs in Honda commercials now. I think fantasy's <laughs> making it mainstream. Um, I was not expecting this. It was like a princess. Don't get, and a, and don't a, get distracted by the orcs. Listen, I know orc they're hot. And a, what the... Um, the fantasy nerds are taking over. Uh, Listen, Twitch knows it's... Knows, like, most people are on Twitch now. For TTRPGs. Critical Role. Yeah, they're all watching also, Critical Role. Also, Critical Role is on right now. <laughs> yeah. so. That's why yeah. we never have too many viewers, is because we're on at the same time as them. Um, I will beat Matt Mercer and pull away his viewers yet. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll see. We won't. <laughs> Probably um, not. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's a lot that of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Come on, guys, perform! No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Hell no. I am kidding, I'm kidding. We're not. No, we just do this for fun. Um... Abigail, you said, yeah, it finally feels like you're spinning really fast, and your first thought is, oh, Abel would have a you know, reaction to this. Um, yeah. And all of a sudden... Oh, poor Abel. <laughs> you... Poor Abel. <gasps> instinctively take a deep breath. No. Oh, my God. Wait. <laughs> what are you doing to Wait, Abigail? Make a perception <laughs> check for me. <laughs> Wait. You're, you're not supposed to do that. She's Dude. never done that in her life. No. Perception she just okay. got resurrected. Who the fuck would resurrect this bitch? No. Someone who wants to kill her again. <laughs> <laughs> you take a deep breath and then it's your last. It doesn't matter. Her body's obsidian. It's not coming back. Well, that's how to It's Marcus that cast resur. Yeah, on it you. can give you a new body. You come back as a gnome. <laughs> Marcus is standing there. Ah There's some spells that give you a whole ass new body. Wait, that's a one on perception. That's reincarnation. Reincarnation. Perception. <laughs> one. One. Uh, that's, that's a seven. Oh, seven. Okay. Well, you're, not one, so seven. You're very much freaking out. You're in this small, like, cylindrical tube. There's some sort of, like, water or gel or something that's surrounding you. What the Very fuck? disorienting. You can you're you're trying to breathe but you can't. You're freaking out. No, um, that's fine. She's not supposed to. I, you, I don't try to breathe. <laughs> right? All of a sudden it the the thing opens and it you you spill out onto the ground and someone immediately throws like a cloak over you or a towel. It's it's kind of just rags really, but it works. You're able to kind of like scrambly put it on. You have something to wear now. Um, She's become you two. <laughs> and you're breathing. <laughs> and your skin has a darker tone. Oh, what the fuck has just happened? And your teeth aren't properly pointy. <laughs> and as you look around, you see a bunch of other kids that are in the same, they're reacting the same way as you. It's the same kids that you just put through that ritual. <laughs> they start oh. freaking out and crawling away from you. Oh, well, yeah, that's fair. And a hand touches you. Eh, gross. And pulls you to your feet. Are you okay? Well, okay, I know the answer, but does she have to breathe? <laughs> <laughs> she has to breathe, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you would try not to and just... 
You Ooh. thought the abyss was as bad as it could get for this bitch. Watch me give her hell 2.0. <laughs> give her life. Real We're not life. done yet. Make another perception <laughs> check, please. Why can you breathe? She, yeah, I think she's going to try and hold her breath for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she's just like... <gasps> she's like... <gasps> Shakes her head and stops breathing. Mm -hmm. uh, perception again? Yeah. She's not seeing shit. She needs dark vision back. That's 11. That's 11? <laughs> yeah. Roll it with advantage. Because I need you to see this. <laughs> well, technically, technically, it's not too hard to notice, but I want to see how hard it hits her. So at first, you see it, and it doesn't really register. Because... Okay. Yeah. Because I'm registering my breath. That is, what the fuck is that? 22. 22? Okay. Yeah. Um. As, as you, uh, you're standing there, you're like holding your breath. You're trying to, she kind of like rubs your shoulder. And she's like, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, you, you know, you have to breathe. It's, it's not an option you have to breathe and it's going to take some getting used to but you'll be okay so um and you kind of look at her and you're just like who the heck are you and um she, she just kind of like pats you and like encourages you to continues encouraging you to breathe I mean, eventually she will have to, yes. <laughs> yeah, so you do eventually breathe. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, do you just hold your breath until you pass out? <laughs> you can't do that. You can. No, you would instinct deep dive reflex, no? Uh, I actually have held my breath until I passed out. Something if, else was going yeah. on. Um. If you if you get, if you get you're holding your breath until you, to trigger the deep dive, you need to splash water on your face. Yeah. And yeah, then they would instinctually not... breathe. Can't you not hold your breath until you pass out? Some people can. It's possible. Uh, I've done it before. <laughs> well, she'll probably get like really close and just instinctively take a deep breath. Get really close? <laughs> yeah, she's trying to hold it as long as she possibly can. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying you get really close to this woman. <laughs> You're just kidding. You're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. It's, it's so it's creepy. Obi Wan up there, like, hello there. <laughs> like, I thought you immediately you inch closer and closer and closer to her, and then you just go <laughs> <laughs> in her face. Just oh. all, all the lesbians and bi's. <laughs> all the lesbians. I don't this think so. Lesbian friendly. And then Marcus, the straight ally. <laughs> So we stay um, ally. This woman is dressed in these like cloth clo cl cloth that's like wrapped all around her. She's kind of like made a makeshift clothing out of these rags. Um she's got kind of strawberry blonde red hair. Um lightly tanned skin, pointy elf ears, beautiful green eyes. And she kind of Marco. puts her hands on her shoulder and rubs you and goes, Marco Is Micah okay? I know who this is, you fucking bitch! <laughs> you can't even get it! And that's where we'll end the night session. No! <laughs> As Abigail <laughs> instinctively has to take a breath, staring Marco. into the eyes of <laughs> Dolores. How the fuck did she get out there? Dolores Therestia. Uh, this is glorious. <laughs> what? <laughs> No one's dead in Markham's world. So, Everyone plays Dolph Drax is coming back. Y'all get fucked. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Um, thank you for joining us, everyone. <laughs> I need a reboot. Hold on. <laughs> uh, Naz, would you like to start the outros? I'm um, uh, named Naz, I think. <laughs> I play <laughs> Abigail and Dahlia. And I need oh, a minute. That's how we get. That's how we get Ness to have longer outros. Make her play two characters. <laughs> Make her think she's playing a new character because the old one died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Matt. <laughs> this is, uh, this is Marcus, 
a man played Marcus, aka Dragon Daddy. Dragon Daddy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, but yeah, it's been fun. Although I nearly died out of my freaking <laughs> joke. My my. Speaking of <laughs> n- breathing, not breathing to where you die. I almost did. <laughs> I was laughing so damn hard at my own joke. It's fair. That leaves oh one. Boy. That leaves me. The one who will do shameless promotion every single time because yep. I don't give a shit. Uh, you don't shiv I, I don't shiv again. I am Selkie to the internet and I am Callie in the Lost Continent and holy shit. <laughs> I am Speed. I love playing monks so much. Monks are great. Monks are great. Mm. Um, you can catch Naz and our DM Markham right here on Dia Denial tomorrow. We will and play. And you? And me. I'll be there too. <laughs> Just, I, thought, <laughs> I thought I thought I said me. I thought I said me. No, nope, you said and, Naz yeah. and our DM Markham. Me too. You'll like, be able to see did me Did something too. happen to Basra that I missed? <laughs> no, Basha's fine. She's not. Right. She's going through emotional turmoil right now, but right. she will be there. We will catch us here tomorrow, and it will be a good time. Uh, Legend of Kralis, which is not d d It's a different TTRPG using a D100 system. If you're interested in other TTRPGs, come check us out. It's a great system. We're kind of playtesting it at this point because our DM for that game is the creator of the game, which is super fun. So we're kind of playtesting at this point, and so anything can happen. Shenanigans occur, and it's just another day in the life of Team Chaos. It is. And also, D- and also, Dean now has a bunch of other D and D games. If you want to come check those out, like they have like a game like what every day during the week? Almost, almost. Pretty much. Almost Mondays every day. Mondays are Iowan Adventures. Tuesdays are State, State of, of the, the Union. Union. Thursdays. I think are they're still doing State Continent. of the Union. Yeah, they are. Um, and they then, are okay. And then Fridays are Our Legends Legend of Kralis. And then Sundays. I think Saturdays, Saturdays, there's a break. Saturdays, there's a break. Wednesdays, there's a break. Thanks. Sundays is bi weekly. We have Rumors of Magic. Although Rumors we've been out for several weeks because of health issues, unfortunately. Yeah. Flu's but going around some places, guys. Stay safe. Mm-hmm. But it's all fun. It's all fun things. So you can always hang tight here at the end and I'll to check out a whole bunch of just satiate your. TTRPG needs. Come back and see Naz squirm more as she's trying to process everything. <laughs> oh, is... we're just we're just emotional little babies. Um, yes. See, Naz stresses out over this game. I stress out over the over tomorrow's game. I get <laughs> they're on a vendetta to make me cry, which I won't because I'm an emotionless little bitch. Um. Unless it's text based and then I'm like ruined. That's fair. Yeah, I was about uh, to say like yeah, what's I up with that? Med- <laughs> I can mention all the text based stuff that nearly broke you. Like, I don't yeah. know. I don't know why reading it is so much worse than like having it spoken to me. It's because you're sitting there and you're reading the words and soaking it in. You can let it go in one ear and out the other when it's in spoken. And That's you're just kinda like oh, okay. It's like when oh, someone also- tells you so blah blah is dead, you're like, eh? But if you I've read, also got like the vocal uh, the because you the can vocal re-read voices. it, you can't rehear it. Yeah, I got I got vocal voices, so like I could tell you how every single one of the characters sound in my brain. But we'll talk about that after stream. That I'll, yeah, I can I can hey. disclose all of that information. Please do. I have so many questions about that. But yeah. I I will be more than happy to. But we can talk about that after stream. Right now, DM our lovely DM needs to sign us off yep. so we can get out of yes. here. Yes. Um. <laughs> thank you for joining us everyone uh come come check us out tomorrow uh and uh y'all stay safe and stay lost everybody stay lost losers stay, stay lost, lost. <laughs> very lost yeah Sometimes really lost oh god